Monday, May 16th. We're going to reconvene with a joint uh, meeting with the advisory committee. I ask everyone to please stand for the pledge of allegiance. Myself and many people in this room, um, retired postmaster and a uh, former selectman and many other hats, especially the chair of the advisory committee, uh, passed away yesterday. Um, my heart goes out to his family and if we could just please say a prayer and a moment of silence for Mr. Ron Daxon. Thank you, everyone. Uh, first, selectmen shall entertain a motion to acknowledge the monthly reports for the Memorial Committee for uh, 32854. I will make that motion. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Yeah. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Announcements. Uh, we had read last week uh, another <coughs> congratulations to residents Mark Ledoux, mm -hmm. Dr. Mark Ledoux, who was presented with the Historical Commission's Annual Preservation Award for his restoration to Overlook Farm. Dr. Ledoux's ambitious work to restore and preserve Overlook Farm is commendable, and his attention to historical detail is echoed in the two new post and beam barns and the faithful conservation of the farmhouse, the Commission stated. Any other announcements? <coughs> Anybody wish to address the board? Uh, if you don't mind, if we could just take this out of order so we. Um, don't have to have much discussion after we can just leave. Uh, item number three, Dollar General property discussion. It's come to the board's yeah. attention that the Dollar General is looking to gift the uh, land to the west of said property. Uh, it's been disclosed as wetland. I don't yeah. know if this board Good wants to take any action yeah. or let them. Yeah, and I saw the email this afternoon. Yeah. See what happens with, they were looking for butters <laughs> to possibly bid on the property. We'll see where it goes and yep. keep it on the back burner. Yep. All right. Uh, any other Karen issues that the board needs to deal with this evening? I don't think there was any. There was there was an email from uh, Mr. Siri in yes, regards to a sign. <coughs> um, regarding what? There's a citizen's petition for a posting of a sign for all meetings. Uh, he reached out to the elementary school. Um, they did that around four or five years ago at a cost of 3,700. Mm -hmm. He's possibly requesting a, a sign on the common. And my only suggestion was that with the sort of nature of the common and, and the, the type of sign that they were looking at, that the two just don't go together. I agree 100%. So, so what, what, I was, uh, what I offered was that the church has a portable sign that we use, so we take it up and take it down. We have a portable yeah. sign. Well, We're doing it right now. For elections? But, but this is... This is what you mean. The, we have a sign for elections. Yeah, but it's cumbersome. And then I'm, I'm, this thing that we have mm -hmm. has the letter thing, and it has a little post, <laughs> little base to it. Little so ones on the wheels. Yeah, it's not, not not on wheels, but it's really easy to manage yeah. versus what we have. So it might be easier. So Art J, I asked him to just stop by and show Mike that uh, type of sign. And just, it's, it's a it's hundred bucks, hundred fifty bucks. Yes, yeah. yeah. and, and I have two of them. Yep, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, item number one: joint meeting with the advisory committee. Uh, brings us into item two. I'd like to start with a special town meeting warrant for discussion. <coughs> Everyone has a packet. So this board hasn't recommended what our, well, stated what our opinions are, if we support or not support it. Um, so the board, I guess, can take that vote after discussion with the advisory committee. Article one, to see if the town will vote to transfer a sum of money from free cash the Union 61 preschool program account or take any action relative there too. Uh, something we have to do because of the, I've seen emails saying not to use the word theft, but it yeah. is what it is, it was theft. No, yeah. Well, and then uh, town council did say that since it's an issue, that maybe it was something new since it was something that we decided where it should That's fine, we put lots. Okay. Yeah. So the advisory committee's take through the chair. Why are we taking? Why can't we take this out of their uh, schools money? It didn't come from us. We we 
the insurance that we got went into free cash, so this is basically being paid for by the insurance that we received. In the second day, and then we can discuss it. <coughs> I didn't, what motion do you want? Are you looking I think to, you're just trying to, to support cereal? You guys, yeah. to support is not supported. Right. So I'll make a motion. Okay. To, I'll make a motion to support Article One as written. Someone want a second? No oh, second. Bob seconds that. <coughs> Are you in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So a quick question from a standpoint <coughs> format for the. There's the, there's the warrant that gets published from a standpoint of just the, the posting in a public place, and then there's the warrant book. Do we want recommendations on the warrant itself or just in the warrant book? We usually just do in the warrant book just so it's not I cumbersome. Want, I just want to make sure that that's what we're doing. For, it's, for, ne it's never done on the warrant. For, it's always for, done for those that have not heard, I want to be the first to let you know that our town accountant has retired <coughs> effective last Friday, so we no longer have a town accountant. So that's going to make it even more interesting. What's the uh, interim plan? We're working on it. I've been working on it all day today. And Friday and, when we were aware yeah, of it. And, and Clarence has done some work on it. We're very well aware and we're doing work on it and wait, waiting for phone calls to come back. So you got some people lined up possibly? possibly. Yeah. I was very optimistic on the list that we have. The list good that list. I had. It's a good list. Yeah. This is a bad time. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> No, she's had a health problem since last <coughs> let's, let's leave it at retirement and yeah. move on. Okay. Uh, so I'll entertain a motion to support Article 1 as a board selectman. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 We good for number two. <coughs> number two, to see if the town will vote to transfer some money from free cash to the Union 61 preschool program account, take any action relative there too. Again, same incident, amount of 30-30. So we're going to make a motion to that effect, I'll accept make, that? I'll make a motion to accept that as written. Anybody have any questions on it? Okay. So is your motion to support. accept or support? We accept, we, have, we, we, we accept support. it. We support, accept it. <clears throat> do we want to recommend or we don't support? We support. We support. We generally we support. Entertain a same motion to support Article 2? I'll make that motion. Okay. Can, can we block vote these? Can we block vote Article 1 through Article 6, which are all uh, all related to the to the loss of the town for the sake of time? But we can leave that to the discretion of the moderator. <coughs> no, I, I mean, here. Oh, right now. Form. Oh, I'm fine with it. Fine. I'll make a motion to... Actually, well, one through five. One through five. Yeah, one through five. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. One through five. So for, on, the, on behalf of the advisory committee, <coughs> I'd like to make a motion to support articles one through five related to the loss to the town and reimbursement from the insurance monies as written. Is this the money that's being returned from the, from the theft? It was returned. It was I mean, I know certified it was returned. on the free yeah. Okay, just so everybody knows, and everybody out there knows what we're talking about. This is money that came back. We had an employee that took money from the town, and this is the money we get. We got back. Did we get three thousand also from her um, retirement fund somewhere in here, Steve? Scam, scam, excuse me. That was Article Two. <coughs> okay. She, well, she's legally uh, bound to repay as well, so I don't know how that'll work. I'm assuming. She's what? I think legally bound to pay. Pay back but I think money. that goes to the insurance company that they'll, now that they've they'll, settled it, they'll deal with any that. funds that come yeah. from her will go back to they'll 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 the insurance has to chase her. Okay. Yeah. So you guys have a motion in here a second. Did someone want to second that? Well he did second, but you can't hear his yeah. seconds right now. Okay, yeah. Bob seconds it. Everybody in favor? Bob in favor. Okay. <laughs> I will I will say because it's water. What, Bob, you want to abstain on to article water? four. Just on Article 4. Yeah. He's on the Water Commissioners. All right, so for sake of time, and Linda's actually dealing with that account issue now, so I'll motion. entertain the same motion. Same. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we're all in favor too. Item number six, the of the town will vote to transfer some money from free cash to the snow and ice, taking the action relative there too. We have not gotten the figure yet from Cindy, but we did allow through both uh, board and committee 
the ability for them to deficit spend. And I'll get that data from her tomorrow, what she said. No, Steve, our board recommended we approve 20000 to go over the uh, 75000 deficit. But now I understand it's up to 29000 thereabouts. We didn't. We didn't what, where'd the other 9000 come in? I don't know. It's the first I've heard of it. Well, it's over 20000 right? I don't I've been know. given I've been given almost twenty eight thousand and then I heard twenty nine thousand so I don't know that like I said you're the first to tell me that's a Cindy question okay but I'm just saying so I think it, I think his point is that that procedurally there's, we didn't there's get an it. issue with that I agree and and we need to ensure that there's some more refined manner of communicating when we're gonna which there usually is <clears throat> and that's why I'm surprised you're sure it's over that yeah well we only approved twenty thousand right. So and I know it's up to 28, 29. So we didn't, you know, it didn't come across the, uh, with our board to say, you what, you know, we need another 9,000. So All right, was well, someone going to find that out and report back to us? Yes, I'll find out. All right. Talk to Cindy tomorrow. We're going to go through the procedures and, and take the steps and we need to, to follow suit. <coughs> It'd be great to have an explanation. Of where it came from. What you're gonna get that right, Karen? Okay. <clears throat> Someone wanna make a uh, motion that we're gonna accept. I'll make a motion to place the article. Right, well, that's it, what I'm it, asking. It's already yeah. placed. Yeah. Or support the article. Someone wanna second that? Yeah. Second. All in favor? Right. And we're gonna put a figure in uh, I guess at town meeting, Steve? Okay. No, we will have the figure before, but we'll probably have it for Tuesday's right. meeting. Okay. Did you take the vote? Do you, All in favor? Yeah. Aye. Aye. Okay. <coughs> kind of a procedural or format question. We have some dollar values that immediately follow the article. Do we want to put a space in there and, and put estimated at or something or words to that effect so that no one thinks that it's locked into that number in case there's some minor accounting or, we, we or, can or, or value thing. issue maybe not on the warrant but for the, the handout the, I'm just saying because the dollar values even on there can be problematic if we discover that there's some sort of error between now and town meeting well we can amend it on the floor yeah through through the motion the, just That's, the motion okay. itself is amending That's fine. It. <clears throat> I, me personally as a taxpayer I'd like to see the, the dollar amount on there and well, that's why I'm just saying. Well, you're going to get that. Show it as, a, as an estimate through the, through the handout at the town meeting. Though. Right. I'd want to see it instead of being surprised. <coughs> and this late in the year, with the snow done, she should have that figure. Well, we'll get that figure before we print, and then we'll put it right. in there. Yes. Right. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like for the for the meeting. Keep it simple. Okay. All right. So I'll entertain a motion to support Article Six. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> Number seven, see if the town will vote to transfer some of the money from, to the stabilization account or take any action relative there too. Uh, this is to replace the funds used for the fleet repair replace account that we did last mm -hmm. year. Well, technically. I have to check that figure too. Now. Can't check what do we put in? What do we put in for? Was it 60, 65? It was Farm 60? I believe it was 60. Did you say you had to check with Betty? Well, I said I, that was what I would normally 60 comes to mind. Bob, you remember that? This is for the fire truck and the dump truck. We borrowed money out of the, the account. Barbara, do you have the spreadsheets that we got from the town that clerk? That was to get back that money from the state. Yeah, the town clerk. The town clerk from the annual and the special town meeting. Do you have a copy of the spreadsheet? Somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> it was 60. Okay. Yeah. For the two trucks. Mm -hmm. I have them, Barbara. Don't worry about it. Uh, Thank you for looking. I just know you generally have them handy. Somebody want to make that a motion that we accept the uh, sixty thousand? I'll make a motion that we accept the movement of sixty thousand dollars to replace the money into stabilization that was taken out at the special. Someone want to second that? Bob. All in favor? Aye. Everybody understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. Entertain no a motion to support Article Seven. <clears throat> so moved. Second. Any discussion? Yeah. None. All in favor? Aye. Article Eight to see if the town will vote to transfer some of money from the overlay surplus for the purpose. I should probably say surplus account 
for the purpose of funding a zero balance overlay account for fiscal year 04, so $275.68. And that's, by the way, that's, um, that was from the assessors. Yeah. I would hope so. Why, we just, why is it so far back in 2004? An, an abatement. That's a fill question. To, I went in and asked for an explanation. Marlene said it was to cover a property tax abatement fill wasn't in, so that's what I wrote down. You can, if you need more info, I can get it from him. Okay. An abatement from 12 years ago? It's entirely possible that if somebody was going back and doing either back taxes or like a, a probate scenario, if the person who had previously owned the property was eligible for the abatement, say they were a senior, <coughs> senior or limited income, what have you, <coughs> it's possible that when they were doing the reckoning for them to be eligible for the abatement. That's what I understood. Okay, so, someone want to make a motion to accept that? Should I recuse myself because I'm on the Board of Assessors? Okay. Yes. <coughs> so you're going to stand? Okay. Yeah. You want to make that motion, Barbara? Someone want to second I'll it? I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Onward. Entertain a motion to support Article 8. So moved. Second. Discussion? All in mm -hmm. favor? Aye. 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 Article 9, same, just a different year, 07, the amount of 135.86. Somebody want to make a motion to accept that? Support it? I'll make yep. a motion to support it. Second. Okay. All in favor? Okay. Onward. Entertain <coughs> a motion to support Article 9. So moved. Second, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? All right. All right. <coughs> That's it for the special. Onward to the annual. I see there's a little typo. Where's that? There's a little so we'll fix that one. <laughs> Good eye. <laughs> yeah. All right, Article 1 to see if the town will accept the annual report. Can we just pass over these, or we don't have to put? Anyway. These are the these are the standard the, the, uh, block the block ones. Well, one and two are standard. Three, all the blocks are standard. Right. And good job highlighting the change in Article 11. Even though it's part of the standard blocks, it did highlight the the change in level that was requested by the committee. <coughs> or not 11. I'm sorry. It's uh, nine. Oh, uh, yeah. Well. Uh, So my question is on Article 11. We don't even have that co-op anymore, do we? No, I talked to Cindy. She said it's kind of, it's not there, but it's there, but it isn't there. If that makes any sense to you. Is there any money <coughs> for it? I heard there was no money being swapped back and forth, but we still have the equipment. Um, and towns, if someone wants to borrow it, they still come down and get it. That's about all I got. So you recommend to keep that? I think we need to clarify that. I, yes. I think before we finalize this, we need to clarify the status of the uh, Regional Highway Equipment Cooperative. Equipment pays everything. What's left? Who's getting paid? Who's not getting paid? Well, there's no, there's nothing left of the grant. No one's getting <coughs> paid to manage it. No, I mean, just so it's just so it's rectified and make sure that, that is so. So should I check with Cindy tomorrow? Let's see if we're going to move it all together. Because to me, it's basically stating that it's a revolving fund, which means there's money, and Dave's saying there's no money. Unless well, I'm they, saying there's no. I, I'm saying there's no money that she <coughs> was. She said she was not getting paid, so I don't know what else is what else is taking place. That's why you should clarify it. Yeah, I'll call it tomorrow. But we were bringing money in through the grant through the town of Brookfield, who was managing it. I guess the question is, are we still applying for any grants to continue to support the program? <coughs> so. That is no. Huh? That's a no, right, Clarence? That's what I understand. I've understood that for a couple of years. Yep. I was going to say, if the, if the uh, we have the equipment. We do, uh, which is, a, we get some of it. <coughs> and the, the cooperative no longer exists, then are they going to expect us to we fund them any money in any way because we have the equipment? Well, so who's going to be responsible for the repairs if everybody's using it? Still, you know, even without the cooperative being in existence, who's responsible for it? Well, these are all the questions and answers we need. Right. 
Well, well, this this came yeah. under a grant, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it cannot be done. So we, we don't know the answers. We can go around all night. We'll right. reach out to Cindy and we'll go through <clears> them. <throat> um, article 13, 14, How about 15. 12, wow. Well, that was part of the box. Well, did we vote? We didn't vote on these other articles. I don't think yet. we need to support them. I don't think we've ever supported them in the past. Okay. Right. these? 1 through 12. We just do it as a one in a block. One <coughs> one. Right. I don't think we're trying to support. Yeah. We don't have to. A quick question for the group on articles 13, 14, and 15. Um, do you know if the school is planning on providing like a Cliffs Notes version of that? We asked, I asked town council. Um, she, she advised that we put all of this in here because nobody has privy to old bylaws mm -hmm. or whatnot. So she asked, she, she recommends to put these in and Deb Boyd will be at the meeting to answer any questions. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, I, I understand that we need to have it all in the water. My question is, is Deb planning on providing some sort of a single short, it, like a, basically a Cliff's Notes version of what this is? And so it was just, to, to me, my Cliff Notes was cleaning yeah, up since 1952. Yeah, because I went to the, I went to the, um, <coughs> the school committee hearing at the elementary, and Deb said what it is, it's just to clean up and, and to change some wording and stuff. But, Nothing had been changed since 1952, so that's that's all it is. So, so she'd have to explain it on the floor. Yeah, okay. Deb would have to explain. It. She said none of the other towns were having any problem with it at all. Oh, I, I, I don't doubt that most people will be willing to just accept it, but that, that's what but it I is. think it, it it helps to just have a elevator speech version of what it's about. The summary, yeah. For. Let's just clean up, change the wording. Sure. Because, you know, things have changed in all those years. Mm -hmm. So it's changing the wording to match what the actual practices are. Well, it's just changing the language, she said. Just language and cleaning up some things. Maybe, like, for an example, I had, like, saying something. I'm um, just looking here, like it says procedure. Maybe they, you know, want to clean up a lot of the wording in, in it and just make it more, compi you know, compile it into something shorter than what it's in. I didn't compare contrast. The committee met several several times yeah. for this. They worked very hard on it, and yeah. I'll take their recommendation. I will too. Well, <coughs> when you say, Linda, you're changing the language, I mean, that means you could be changing the whole concept. Of well, it's not going to change. When you, when you read it, 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 is pretty, it is pretty straightforward. It's just a lot of words. Yeah. That's, 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 that that's, 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 that's why you have the ability to read yeah. it. Yeah. And it, it's all changing, so the okay. recommendation is to put it all in. Yeah. I see no problem with it. I take Deb Boyd's word for it. Well, it's not just her, it's the committee. Hers, it's the committee. I go five, along with, I trust the committee. Yes, yeah. subcommittee. Yeah. You guys gonna take a motion? Does somebody wanna make a motion to accept this? I'll, I'll make a motion to support them. Bob uh, that's seconds that's it. The, uh, three of them, the 13, 13 14, 14, and 15. Hmm? Please smile. Yeah. Which Bob is gonna second? Walter. Oh. Bob second. Bob second. Silent second. Okay. Everybody in favor? Everybody has any more questions on it? Okay. We'll have to make Bob a little yes or no. All right, onward. I'll entertain a motion <laughs> to support Article 13, 14, and 15. I'll make that motion. Second. Discussion? Mm -hmm. None all in favor? Aye. 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 Article 16, to see if the town will vote to raise appropriate transfer borrow some of money to purchase mm -hmm. electronic voting equipment and take any action on the bill too. Dave, how much was this again? Uh, five thousand with um, what did we say? Two hundred and one hundred and ninety. One hundred and ninety clickers. Oh, you went up. That's good. Yeah. Since, since I talked to you. Well, we were, right. We were going to do one twenty-five, and then the board decided okay. we should go up. So five thousand. That's exactly what it is. That's what you're asking for. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I can give you the exact figure if we okay. need. Okay. Yeah, we need it. Which? Yeah. Well, I mean, I will have it for you. Okay. Okay. That's good. Now. And where are you planning on taking this money? Free cash. cash. Raising, what's he going to transfer it? Yes, from free transfer cash. Transfer from free cash. Transfer from free cash. Now, since I, if I could bring it up now, since I had talked to Dave, um, you said you wouldn't have this in place probably till next, the annual town meeting? Or the special. Oh, uh, well, mm -hmm. I know Mike that. Could get the special. Well, I know fine. that um, some communities um, that have hired different people, they will come out and do a free demo. 
at a town meeting, so it's too bad. You couldn't get somebody to come out and do a free demo, even for the annual. Okay. I mean, I know it's kind of late. I don't know if it's too late. Oh, I don't check with them tomorrow for sure. Might not. Might not. Be. Yeah. Because they are a lot, of, a lot of communities are doing this. They've gone to this. Yeah. It streamlines the meetings. Yes, it does. Plus, <laughs> plus people can vote the way they want to vote without yeah. somebody over their shoulder, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So we've already, uh, Steve, we've already passed this. So you already. supported it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you support it? <clears throat> You didn't support it? <laughs> yes. I'm on the fence, so I'll entertain a motion to support Article 16. I'll make that motion. That's okay. You, okay, you guys are okay with this? I am. Yeah. I, I think it's good. Steve to know how I vote. See what the group says. I just, I never had a problem with letting anyone know how I voted, and it just strikes me as odd as... No, but some people do, so... Yeah. yeah. We're hoping for greater community participation. Yes, I think if... Greater so attendance. I've heard a lot I about agree. it. I agree with both of you, 100%. A lot of people get intimidated when there's a controversial thing. Mm -hmm. It's too bad. And, and do. you know, you got to stop intimidating people, Dave. Yeah. I don't think that's the case. <laughs> all right, so all in favor? Right, Beth? Um, I think that might be the case. We're up. You all in favor? Yeah, I guess it's no, unanimous. Yeah. Okay. Article 17, the CFA Town will both raise an appropriate transfer of borrow a sum of money to install a new ADA bathroom on the first floor of the Town Hall to address other ADA issues in the Town Hall, i.e. thresholds and ADA access. Uh, this will be a transfer for the exact amount that's in a current account. The purpose of this article is for complete transparency on what the Board wants to do with this building. What's the figure in that account? 50,000. 50, 50, 50 even? We have 50,000 in there. Yeah. Now, are you going to are you going to redo the other bathroom like we voted last time, or are you going to construct a new bathroom? It would be a construction of a new bathroom. We we debated on doing this at the before the last special. We spoke with town council. The intent was to bring a bathroom up to ADA. We thought that a new bathroom would bring it up to ADA, so it stays within the intent of the vote. We've got a lot of feedback saying that we were usurping our ability and our authority, so we held off for this, and we want to make it very transparent on what we <clears throat> want to do. Oh, I understand about transferring the money, but where are you planning on putting, are you planning on constructing a new bathroom? Right here, Dave. What are you going to do with the existing are, are, you, are you doing this for their benefit? Because we've had this discussion 10 I'm times. For everybody that's watching this, and, I'm t and, right. and, and our board, our board is, is wanting to know, too, because... Right. So to the board, because Dave and I have discussed this at least a dozen times, have you guys seen the plan? Yeah, we did. At our last meeting, we, we brought the plan. <coughs> uh, the plan shows for a bathroom in the assessor's office. The last path was to do that in the assessor's office, but through discussion, we <coughs> thought without displacing the assessors, build this bathroom here, which the plan shows. In the plan, it's a men's room. It would be right here between, petition would be between those two windows, and a little bit shorter than that door. Uh, it would be technically a male's bathroom with like, it was either two or three urinals and one toilet stall with two sinks, I believe. I thought it was going to be unisex or something. It would, well, technically well, that would be unisex, but okay. in, in, in the plan it's labeled as the, the, labeled the men's plan. bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, three urinals, how many stalls? One stall. One stall. I believe so. So three men can go to the bathroom, but only one woman. Two, st two stalls. Two stalls. Two stalls, two urinals, <coughs> two sinks. No, okay. The other thing is, so it is kind of unisex bathrooms from my past experience are generally single person user. It would still be a single person user with a lock. We still we have both bathrooms available, but this one would be ADA accessible. The other one is not ADA accessible. I'm just wondering why you need then three urinals for be a single because access. because the desire is to bring this town hall up to that plan through incremented steps. That plan being the ooh, the whole the first and okay. second first and second floor. Okay, which is what four point six million dollars in the end. No. What's no. the total? No. The first the, there are four phases. Yeah. The first phase is fifty thousand yeah. dollars. The second phase is nine hundred eight hundred eighty thousand dollars, and then if we keep in that gets a, the second phase gets us the elevator and access to the second floor, uh -huh. and then there are two more phases. They're both about a million dollars a piece, short of a million dollars a piece. Uh -huh. And if we go to those extents, that's talking sprinklers and all these other things, 
then yes, you're going to spend that over some period of time. I didn't even argue that against that because the first phase for the fifty thousand was just handicap accessibility issues. It wasn't bathroom issues. No, yeah. So yep. we're get, we're getting a bathroom for fifty thousand dollars. Right. With all the and so even if none of the other work ever takes place, you get a bathroom. You'll be a still bathroom. have ADA on the first floor. Mm -hmm. yeah. With the unisex bathroom. Okay. So, okay. well, so two, two technically. So well, you have that one. Well, that's not ADA though. Correct. We wouldn't vacate that bathroom. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Are you going to? So, are you going to keep that bathroom functional? Correct. And what's that going to be called? The bathroom. Okay. What about a gender bathroom? Is that going to be part of the unisex? I don't think we have to label bathrooms. No. If it's no. unisex, then that will cover. It the covers gender. everything. That will cover gender too. Okay. Well, we had a. I remember we talked to the um, Robert Wall. Mr. Wall about it, and he said there was discussion that they wanted to call them gender neutral. Okay. But but that's that's if they're <coughs> shared bathrooms. The, 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 these are these. It's unisex. <laughs> but I'm just telling you what Mr. Wall had told well, us. Well, that's that's a discussion down on Beacon Hill and through yeah. North Carolina okay. and all that. that that's so not what we're talking about. We're talking we're talking about access. Some working working acceptable restrooms in the building. We're talking we're ta what not even working accessible uh, accessible. That's the word is accessible. Okay. They're both working. If you have to lock a door to use one bathroom, you have to lock a door to use one bathroom. Okay. This isn't about who goes in it. This is about being able to access it with a wheelchair or any other yeah. handicap. And it and it moves us in a in a path that the board has approved that we've gotten through a grant for a plan for both floors. Right. The biggest key in this whole plan is that elevator. And, and then the yeah. second piece of this is if we say we're going to go forward, we have two grant cycles, <coughs> one in February of 17 and one in March of 17, where we can go ask for a whole bunch of money to be able to do that without, at, at, without town expense. Well, they're probably matching grants. Uh, so. uh, I'm sorry. But, minimum, but this, this board realizes it's anywhere from a five to a ten year plan. It's not oh, yes. like we're, we're oh, yeah, it's not going through this. In, in a really expedited manner. This, this is the, pan, the and we discussed this at the Municipal uh, Facilities Planning Committee. We were gonna get one or the other. We talked about town hall, we talked about police station, we have a police station, now it's time to do something to this building. The waste upstairs, everyone in this room has been upstairs. It's an absolute waste, it's a tragedy. It, it needs to be brought back. But that, all that, is not part of this article no. seven. No, but okay. that's but this is it's it's for the transparency of what we want to do, and to me it's for the buy-in of what Get that plan yeah. represents. Getting on the path. All right, so there's fifty thousand. Are you going to do anything to the other bathroom with the fifty thousand? Not at all. Okay, so the fifty thousand is going to be used yes, to construct this one. Not no, well, not just that. Um, well, the ten thousand for the thresholds and then the door yeah. for the hand for the ramp. Yeah. It has to be. Okay, you're just swapping money from. Over to here. Correct. Yeah. Okay. This, this, the trigger would have been pulled on this months ago, but there was a lot of feedback that we were deceiving the town. So, okay, so, <coughs> so then we're just going to have this selectman's <coughs> office on the back wall of the new bathroom, right? Selectman's meeting? Selectman's meeting. Yeah, just yeah. put it yeah. The meeting room will just be a little smaller. Okay. Which, given the huge crowd that we have today, I think we'll be okay. Uh, That's well, they do voting here, too, so. No, it's in its own line. All right, someone want to make. Who has an option for voting? Huh? The we're not we're not dealing with the assessor's that's office. That's, 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 a beauty. The that's a beauty. This plan, yeah. bathroom here, the assessor's the assessor stays assessor there. Is if right we there. move forward, the plan shows for different offices in this room, yeah. and, but that's with the ability to use upstairs as well. Mm -hmm. So that that would be the next step. Could I just ask, uh, since you seem to know about the grants, talking matching, so, and I know this is a little bit beyond this 50000 but since we're on the subject, um, what kind of money are we talking about having to match? Is it like 50% or? I'll give you the elevator specifically. Within the architect's plan, the hardware for the elevator is $131,000. Uh -huh. What Mass Historical will do is they will match up to 30% of a major project. And so that's why the, <coughs> the 900000 might be important to be able to use the 900000 as far as the bigger project. And so of the 131, they'd match at 50%, so that that gets 50 you 50% or 30%? 50%, okay. but it needs to be 30% of a larger project. Okay. So it needs to be, okay, to kind of get the math. So 131 is the, the hardware, so you double it, it's a quarter of a million dollars to get it installed. They'll up, fund up to 30% of a larger project. If you take the architect's proposal for phase two, which includes the elevator, it's $900,000. 
So that effectively would say the mass historical would buy you the elevator. So now then you would want to think about the 600,000 that might be needed for the, for the balance of that phase. The, the next CBDG grant run phase that we can go to apply for is February of 17. Uh -huh. And so you to apply under CBDG <coughs> for the $600,000. And if you got $600,000, it would be zero fund for, for the town. But there may be some matching or requirements for matching within the 600 that you have to worry about. So well, we don't know yet. And we don't know yet until you apply for the grant. <coughs> so hypothetically, how much would the town's people still have to come up with if you got your grants, what so, you just said? Uh, the 50% match would be $130,000. Well, I'm talking about the, the, whole, other, the whole thing. The whole project? I don't, the CBDD, I don't know. I don't know. I, I know the mass historical piece. So you're basing it on around a million and... 900,000. 900,000, yep. 980, would you yeah. say? And, and what I did is I carved it up, David, in two blocks. One that I know something about, which is a March 17 grant proposal um, for Mass Historical. Okay. That's a 50% match of a 30% project. Interestingly, that we have. So we need to know, okay, townspeople so, will need to know how much they're going to come up with out of the tax dollars. But not tonight. This no, no, not I'm just after February yeah. of 17, yeah. which is okay. basically a year from now we would know whether we're in or out as far as the grants. Okay. And if you're not in with the grants, you'd delay it until the next round. And, right. and, to, be, and mm -hmm. to be honest with you, one bathroom in here with an elevator allows us to do whatever yeah. we want upstairs. Mm -hmm. You, you want to talk about there. community buy-in. Upstairs yeah. is absolutely, we've, we've had Elsie up there. Elsie Are you the gonna be asking the people to go for an override of debt exclusion for this? Well, yeah. No. Well, we well, haven't. Even, we haven't not, necessarily. Well, not, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Yeah. Not not where given you the current. You can't afford 130,000. I mean, my, my initial reaction is you can't afford the the matching grant for the elevator. Is that what you're suggesting without going for override? No, we're talking. We're basing it on 900 something thousand. No, no we have. Well, the, look, just just as just, Total. just to clarify, okay, is that, um, and I, I want someone to check my numbers, and that's where normally the town accountant would play a role. Okay, but there would be currently based on how we have fund our operational budget for the town and where our levy limit currently is. Okay, uh, and depending on how much of it gets covered, the, it, it's it, it's very conceivable that we could fit that under the levy limit depending on how it was financed, mm -hmm. the, the town's portion of <clears throat> those funds, whether it was something that um, depending on, on what's left. And we don't really know the what's left until we really <coughs> apply for the grants. That's right. But uh, um, we're, we're in a position where even if we wound up potentially financing it, we could fit it in under the levy limit within our current operational budget without going for an override. <coughs> what's the without levy limit? Without going for an override. Because taxes, we've had, we've had, taxes would still go up. Taxes, well, the, right. you, the, taxes they, will they, still go up. I'm just you know, going to let the townspeople clear, know no, where we're going here. Absolutely, but right. to, let's be clear that well, it, would not, it, would, it would not go, okay. it would not necessarily, we would not necessarily, depending on the final numbers <coughs> and the method of funding mm -hmm. that portion of the numbers, it might not necessarily force an override. Okay? Either so, way, with, with, uh, what I'm saying is either way, <coughs> With an override or not, your taxes still go up. That's just the bottom line. If, we don't, so if, people, if we don't put an elevator in, your taxes are still going to go up. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Which makes it doubly interesting. And the taxes would go up even more it? than what you're saying. Right. I just want to make sure it's clear to that. I, I wouldn't support an override, to, to be clear with you. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how the grant process And I'm just, and goes. I'm just stating that it yeah. might not necessarily, might not be necessary to support the plan, think depending on how well executed the plan is. People are fed up with the taxes now. Yeah, we'll work on, let's work on the grants so and see where that goes. So did you guys make a motion to support it? I'll make a motion to support the tra uh, transfer of the previously allocated funds for Article 17. Who wants to second it? I will. Any more discussion? That's currently at 50000 right? Right. Yeah. Correct. And it's currently a transfer from the previously yeah. allocated Which we allocated funds. last week, uh, last year. Last okay. year. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. Aye. Uh, entertain a motion to support Article 17. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 
18, to see whether the Town of Brookfield shall participate in the Attorney General's Abandonment Housing Initiative or take any action relative there too. Was that how the article was written? That's exactly how okay. it was written. That was just a question. Citizens' petition, so it's just a support or not support. Someone we already discussed it, right? Because we all know. So someone wants to make a motion to accept or not accept. I think we already voted not to accept you this. Have to, you have, to, 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 you have to put it on. Well, we're going to put it on, but I'm just saying yeah. all of these are on. Yeah. It's just all on. It so we support to, to put it on, definitely. It's got to be. But the actual, so we if, don't support. But we right. So the advisory committee the does action. not. Well, I want to make sure that's clear. I mean, if we, if we say we, if we, you put this in there and we say yes, we support this. We're not supporting this. We're you supporting just, to put it on, but we're just, not supporting. But no, it. you don't even support to put it on. If you have the on. citizen's petition, you have it's to put on. it so, on. So stop, stop. Yeah. The, the, this, this from special town meeting, the wording isn't what you're saying to yeah. put it on. It's to support the article from right. the advisory committee. Or right. not. Or what you're not saying is put it on. Yeah, but no, you're, no, you're, no, it's on. We're, we're, no, it's on. What you what have to put it on. Right now yeah. is what we're recommending. Right, right. So right. that's exactly it. So it's on whether we like it or not. Correct. That's right. Not but, uh, five of us do not support. Support. It. support <laughs> it. So the advisory committee does not support this. So to see if the town of Brookfield board shall participate in the agenda. That's correct. So I'll entertain a motion from the board of selectmen to support Article 18. I'll offer that motion. Do you have a second? I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Board unanimously. We supported. already we already voted this, so we don't right. have to vote. Yeah, I made the note. Article 19 to see whether the town of Brookfield shall provide a $500 yearly stipend to each member of the advisory committee. <coughs> Provided no recommendation to conflict <coughs> of interest, so I will entertain a motion. I I physically don't support it, <coughs> but the way the motions are going is I'll entertain a motion to support Article 19. I'll make the motion. Bring I'll a second, second it. Um, I'm again going to vote no for this. I just, just where I'm at. Any other discussion? How does the advisory board feel about it? Well, if it happens, it happens, and if it don't, it don't. We're still going to be we're, here. We're not recommending. Right. I mean, I mean, we can't recommend right. it as a conflict of interest for all intents and purposes. Well, I understand. I mean, if it gets more, if it, if if it's voted in, and we get more people on the board, then that's fine. Okay. Doesn't is five hundred dollars a year going to keep you on the board? Well, I've heard a few people say they jump on if they got the five hundred. It's it's not us. It's people that right. we're trying to, to recruit to, to get on the board. To be they, honest with you, and I, they'll I, say not till we get paid. I, I don't think I want someone on the board like that. <laughs> I, I, that we're just telling you what. But that's, told what to us. that's the way it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just change my vote. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. What? <laughs> that thought. Do you want somebody on the board that has a mentality like that? Well, that I'm not going to join unless I get five hundred dollars. Yeah, and see, that's, no, that's that, the mentality. That would be the, if that's the mentality. No, 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 no. 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 But but at I'll, the same time, these guys put hours and hours. The advisory yeah. committee have, have made that statement to me. There's there's been a lot of other statements about why they won't join the advisory committee, but it's never been because it's an unpaid position. So, and this is this has come up several times yeah. before the town, yeah. and it's always gotten shot down. But again, it's a citizen's petition. Mm -hmm. So there's a motion on the floor. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Uh, All, you, oh. you want to support this? Oh, no, I don't want to support it either. Yeah, so I, I, All you, right, so you changed my vote. Not, not in favor? Not in favor. Not in favor. All right, so the no, Board of Selectmen unanimously <laughs> does not support Article 19. Article 20, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer bar the sum of $1 to plow private roads and take any action relative to the two. I'll make that motion. We'll let them do it first. Oh. So I'll make a motion? Yeah. I make a motion to support it. Mm -hmm. It's a standard standard thing every year. Yeah. Okay. Second. Why are we putting this in the block? All in favor? Yeah, why wasn't this in the, the, <coughs> the first yeah. 15? Just put it, yeah, that one should just mm -hmm. go in the block. So then we don't even have to take a vote to support, do we? That's we right. just did, so we're this all set. One? Yeah, that's it. This can you can you make sure that with Cindy that we can put this in the block? Yeah. This you, years ago, this used to be a line item in the budget. But well, remember that one year it didn't get put in. So the one that, year we missed and it caused a lot of havoc. We couldn't. So is this roads, why remember? they're putting it on now as an article? Because right. it always was right. a line item. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it, it should be in the block in the first yeah, standard. Okay. 
Yeah. So we go to town meeting, we can just vote on all everything in. Only well, yeah, because it came in as a as a separate article. Well, <coughs> well, just ask Cindy if we I can put it in the phone. If it, if it can't, you guys already took a vote, so I'll entertain a motion to support Article 20 if it can't be put into the law. I'll make that motion. A second. Any discussion? All in favor? Okay. Item t Article 21, to see if the town will vote to transfer some of money from the ambulance receipt reserved account to fund the fiscal 2017 emergency squad expense account. Take any action on whether there too. We already voted, so... <coughs> So okay. I'll entertain a motion I'll to make, support Article I'll make that motion. 21. I'll second. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Article 22, to see if the town will vote to transfer some of money from the ambulance receipt reserved account to fund the 2017 <coughs> emergency squad wage account and take any action a little bit there, too. Have you guys already voted on that? Yeah, we already voted that as well. Supporting it? Yes, we did. You yeah. obtain a motion to support Article 22. I'll make that motion. A second. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. 24, see if the town vote to raise appropriate transfer borrow some. Oh, I messed over. Thank you. See if the town vote to raise appropriate transfer borrow. I was on the right path, though. Some of money to the road reconstruction account. Take any action over there, too. Now it's 35000 Did you guys vote on this already? Yeah. Supporting it? Entertain, entertain a motion <coughs> to support Article 23. I'll make the motion. Sorry. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Article 24, see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer of all sum of $7,500 uh, to the center line painting account and take any action relative there too. Entertain a motion to support Article 24. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You guys already supported it, right? Yeah. yeah. Article 25, to see if the town will vote to transfer some of money from the driveway permit account to the driveway repair account. We'll take any action on it there, too. $150. I'll make that motion. Second. Wait, did the advisory committee vote on this yet? Which one? 25. Which one? 25. 25. It's not on there, but we did vote that one. So you support it? <laughs> if it a motion for the board of support. I'll make the motion. Did you vote on that one? I don't remember this. I don't remember that either. I don't, I don't remember what's doing this. Yeah. All right, yeah. so let's, let's okay. we'll I'll vote make a motion. I'll make a motion to support or right, to favor. recommend Article Aye. 25. So I'll I want to second that? I'll second it. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Article 26, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow sum of money to purchase materials for making repairs to the dump sander body on the 91. Mack truck and the platform body on the 97.4 to take any action over there too, sum of $4,700. I'll make the motion. Oh, Sorry. The advisory board. Oh, the advisory board. I don't think we discussed this, did we? This is about well, the catch so, basin truck. The, this is the, no. No, no, this this is the one that actually I was asking the question is the why the highway hadn't uh, requested right. funds from the existing <coughs> repair replacement account right. funds this board year. Board. So is there, is there a reason why we're waiting for annual town meeting? Because I thought one of the primary reasons for the fleet repair replacement account was to go ahead and Herbs. fix things as it Herbs. breaks. Herb's requesting it on the floor. Because um, there's $19,000 in there at last that yes. we knew. Yeah. That's so. what's left from when they did the re when Herb already did the repairs to the the truck he had he got the last the, figures uh, we saw said there was nineteen thousand dollars still left in the and then Peter fixed the forest fire one right yes so there's nineteen thousand left last we last we knew if yeah, if so. if the last variance report <coughs> is accurate which is a whole other question and he's got three in here that fall under that which go over that amount so there might be some method there mm -hmm. so but they're all articles so if you could take something out of it. You know what I mean? I had the conversation with Cindy. He's requesting that these are articles. That's fine. Just we can vote whether or not to recommend them. That's all. That's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. Is this 1997 Ford? Is that the one ton flatbed truck? Probably. Huh? Yeah. That's my guess. I'm thinking. The one ton that they was, wasn't supposed to. They was, that was supposed to be junked and then they yeah. kept it and after they bought, after so they they bought the they other new one. Now. now they have three of them. What do they want to do to it? Something on the body. It says platform body. Mm -hmm. Could oh, be the okay. bed. What do you guys want to do? Cab. I'm kind of up in the air. I mean, I don't know all the facts that I should have, but. Oh, maybe it's new planking or something on the body. 
It's a platform body. Yeah. <clears throat> Where's the money coming from, Steve? They're saying free transfer cash. borrow. It would come from free cash. Okay. So, because I, I ran I ran all these articles through um, a spreadsheet, and basically um, we can support everything except the water truck, the bathroom, and no, both of those have funding uh, alternate funding sources. Basically, everything that's listed as a transfer would be <coughs> the water truck, the town hall bathroom, and the driveway. Everything else we that heads. We've got headspace and free cash to pay for that's on the warrant, I believe. I'm going to check it as we go. Could Hold I me. ask a quick question? When I was out, I had to take that call. Did we put the money back into the stabilization that we took out? The 60000 yes. yes. Was that <coughs> on the special? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Was it the special? Yeah. So you've, uh, so I'll. Uh, Don't worry about that, Linda. We're right on that. So this is, been, so <laughs> all of me. that's been subtracted, Beth, so we know that we have enough to put. Yes. That's what okay. she's referring to. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. Is I, have a, I, have a, I, I keep a running tab that's okay. the warrant articles as well that shows like where the money's coming from and what we have okay. in free cash. Mm -hmm. And right now, we would have enough money to support that from free cash, so we wouldn't have the, to go anywhere else for the it. The only thing that I'm thinking of, a, a little bit ahead on is there's, there was a, there's supposed to be, I think, an article to put a certain amount of money into this fleet. There, there should be there, an article. Right. Yeah, there is an article. That, there's for that. an article. So that's for eighty thousand. So bring it to hundred thousand. So that would bring it to a hundred, and it was to buy two no, vehicles, I, I want, believe. I thought we wanted to put a hundred thousand in it. Well, yeah, to I bring it to a hundred. Well, we have nineteen in it now, no, and that's why we reduce it to one. eighty. Oh, you did reduce it. Well, we, well we're going to discuss it. Oh, we're going to discuss it. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. So, which the other reason, the other thing is, is just for. You know, you could argue this point either way for the sake of shorter, a short, shorter warrant and hopefully a shorter meeting. We could just, we could lump all of these together into the no. fleet repair replacement. Mm -hmm. No, I don't he, think he, so. he doesn't want it, so okay. I, I don't know what his method that. of madness is. I think the people need to know yeah. well, what we're voting and yeah. what we're well, spending. My thing is, <laughs> we, we recommended 80000 with this to make it a hundred. And what was the cost of the two vehicles that we were supposed to be using that to buy? Well, it wasn't going to equal a hundred, which would still leave a balance. Right. But we have multiple vehicles, and we have yeah. a whole fiscal year to deal with issues. That that amount needs to progressively get higher because we have a lot of vehicles and capital improvements through those vehicles mm -hmm. that we're not. Taking we understand care that. Of. Oh, Steve. I understand about actual vehicle replacement. I understand that. But the thing is, of using. That account for um, it's supposed to also be for repairs, uh, and so we, we keep voting money into it, and then they keep shoot, doing articles the for repairs, okay. and it it defeats well, the purpose of the account. Well, I, I don't I don't know that it does defeat the purpose of the account because because one of the things it does provide for you is that every time you're making a de decision between repair and replace, okay, you, you're having that conversation of the cost of ownership, okay. So an older vehicle, it's paid for, you've had it, it's been running, but there's, you know, I think you used the analogy at one point of your, what was it, like your 87 pickup or something that you had just recently fixed? Oh, or nice. Nice. well, we fixed the fire truck. There's a perfect example. We okay. fixed a truck is, last is year. The, is the repair versus replace. It makes perfect sense to flow it through the same account from a standpoint of people understanding the cost of ownership of these capital items. So I, I don't see a problem with it, with funding for both things, repairing and replacing, mm -hmm. coming from a single fund. There's, there's really no issue there. All right. So you guys want you guys on board with the forty-seven hundred? I'll, I'll make a motion to support it. Who wants to second it? I will. All right. Any, any further discussion on that? I wish we had more tracks, but okay. That's a vote. Well, I just don't want you. Yeah, I just mm, don't want to see have... that entire hundred thousand dollars be used on two vehicles, which it's we were planning on only one. using eighty of it for. Yeah, it's it's not so it's, not, it's not going to happen. Okay. In, in my mind, and it obviously it's through the board, I, I'd like a new vehicle for the police chief, yeah. and I think we can get a a, a okay. suitable used vehicle. Good for use the fire. for the fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's, it's not going to cost 100000 for You still have time, Dave, to have Herb come in to discuss it. Oh, yeah, I will. So then is it the board's intention then to, whatever that balance is after the purchase of those two vehicles, is it that intention to be like 
a starting point for building up that account? Is that what your intention is? Because I just don't huh? want to leave that extra I'll 20 in there and have something else come along yeah. that's going to yeah. suck it out of there. You know? it, it, it needs to start being yeah. built. So that's your way of building it. Oh, when we get to that, lot, building it a lot, way to a lot of yeah. vehicles in this town. Yeah. Using articles get to, to support <clears throat> other things. Instead well, that, I, I would have used it out of, out of that account. Um, Article 28, to me, is the one that we started having the discussion with because he requested that 6000 I think, to both boards yeah. months okay. ago. And he changed his mind. All right, so is our board all in favor of the 4700 to do these two <clears throat> items? Okay, Bob seconds it. If you in favor of that, Marie? Are you okay with it, Barbara? Mm -hmm. Bobby? Yeah? Yeah, okay. All right, that's a, that's a vote. Entertain a motion to support Article 26. I'll make that motion. Second. Uh, only discussion I have for keeping two other vehicles in the fleet for $4,700. I think it's good money. Yeah. I do too. All in favor? Aye. <clears throat> Article 27, see if the town votes raise appropriate transfer or borrow some money to rehab a 1980 Mack truck to a catch basin or purchase a used truck to be retrofitted as a catch basin truck or take any action relative there too, requesting 10000 Just a little bit of discussion. Um, yeah. Mr. Barnes, at one time, when we addressed this previously, um, made, he didn't believe, if I'm correct, that that truck could be retrofitted because it's too short. I believe wheelbase. the frame's too short. Has anyone checked out the engineering on the wheelbase? He understands it. I know that. I, I would trust Donnie and I would trust her. Yeah, yeah I would no too. No they understand that completely. Huh? That's why they were able to secure the... The boom thing. Because every catch basin truck I've seen has been pretty long and then it don't like the dump truck. But it depends on what they got for the body for and the uh, basin itself. So with the um, and I know the details came with it. I don't have the sheet of paper in front of me though. Is it ten thousand uh, dollars? Did they already have the catch basin or does that include the catch basin? No, we we, we already approved the yeah, uh, purchase the of the catch basin. basin. That That's coming oh. from chapter ninety, right? The only thing they don't have is the plan show itself. Okay. Well, I thought that's coming out of Chapter 90, the clamshell. Yeah. It, it is, but what I'm saying is we were able to secure by Chapter 90 the lift piece. Yeah. And what was missing from the lift piece was the clamshell. Okay. They'd have to get as well. Out but, of Chapter 90. But the, the, okay. I would suggest that, mm -hmm. back to the chair's point, Donnie's looked at this thing and believes that he's got a good plan. And okay. Because now I feel. It my my personal feeling, if Donnie and Herb uh, know have approved of this, or they know what they're talking about, they've been down there many years. The two of them. Oh, I'm not. I'm not questioning. Just want to make sure so that you, you are. You are questioning it. I am questioning. I want to make sure the engineering is is done because I know other things in town that have been engineered in this town. We spent big bucks on it, and it wasn't engineered properly. So I, I want to make I sure we don't. Their, I trust their judgment. Okay. Well, what's he's giving? He's got a. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going on, just want to make sure we don't make the same mistake oh, again. I, I and I'm not going to say what the truck is. Yeah. I, I respect that. No. But he does give himself Originally, they yeah, wanted to no. junk this 1980 Mac because they said they couldn't get parts for it, this, that, and other. <coughs> and now we want to put money right. into it. Or purchase a used vehicle yeah. to retrofit. What are you going to get for 10000 Sell off the parts. Okay. But that, I mean, that's what he's talking about. There's okay. The flexibility I mean, if we can, if we can, if I mean, if that 1980 Mac is usable, because we're not going to use it a lot, because it's cleaning mm -hmm. catch bases out. Yeah. Well, it's going to be used a lot in the beginning because none of these none of these catch bases have been cleaned. <laughs> yeah. in two years. I'm just two going on what the conversations it, were in the it, prior. It's, it, it's going to sound like a Monty Python, not Monty Python skit, though. Not did yet. Yes, but you soon will be. That's going to be the conversation we're having with that truck. So. Yeah. Well, but then the, the thing is, then the intention really isn't. In the no, I'm just. I'm so, that, my my yeah. observation is that it is an older truck. There is a risk in okay. doing the conversion. And the beauty is, we take the stuff off and put it on a new truck. But the beauty is, you do have the the, the back end is the expensive bit at this point. So okay, and then he'll jump the 1980 when we get the other. Yeah. No, we're gonna use the 1980 for this. <laughs> Oh, you mean like when it dies? We'll, we'll, use it, we'll, just, we'll just use it until it dies unless it, in, unless a, an opportunity comes up to get a used truck that's appropriate that fits the budget that's being requested. Which you could conceivably find one, quite frankly, because usually what restrains us when we're buying used equipment for, say, plowing, is that after a certain number of miles, you don't, and, and you know that that other town has been using it for plowing. It's it's kind of like mm -hmm. dog years. Oh, no, I know. You ain't so, going to get much for 10 grand. Well, the thing so. is, the thing is, though, is 
If this is only, if the, if the chapter 90 money is taking care of the lift and the clamshell, okay, so that's not included in this 10,000, it's going to cost, it, saying that he's going to use that 1980, it's going to cost $10,000 to work on that truck just to put those things on? That's a question you guys can I mean, ask. as a lay person, I just kind of like... What, what you've also heard is the truck needed to be extended. Yeah. That's for the frame extension. And in here it says purchased as well. So no, see, now we, you, no one said about extending the frame. Now you're talking about extending the frame. Because so that's it, what, that, that would mean that That it's was the question adequate. I just had about engineering. So, right. so is that going to take place? It right. says to, the, the motion yeah. is to rehab, rehab. a 1980 yeah, truck. Okay. Or, I'm, not, I'm not an engineer. I'm okay. not deciding right. what All has right. to be done. Just just making sure they, they, know, they know the center of gravity. Sure they clear. know the wheelbase. Yeah. They're going to be driving it. They don't want to yeah. be tipping down the road. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Someone want to make a motion to accept or not accept? Well, it's not to accept or not accept. Support. 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 I'm just, well, that's what I'm asking. So who? I think it's as they lengthen that frame or anything else, that truck has to be reshowed. Okay. Okay, but that's maybe what they're going to use the 10000 for. Okay, so someone so want to make, make a motion to support it. Someone want to second it? <clears throat> Bob, second. Any, any further discussion? <laughs> Okay, all in favor? Okay. Yeah. Vote. Entertain a motion to uh, support Article 27. I'll make the motion. And we'll get, Bob, we'll get more information on if they're going to extend it. Yeah, yeah, I would say. Any huh? discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Article 28, to see if the town votes raise appropriate transfer or borrow some of money to repair the center pins and the end bushings in the 95 dresser loader, take any action over there too, amount of $6,000. Mr. Chair? I thought we um, did most of this type of work down at the highway. And this is the cash that they work. Huh? It explains it. It says they have to split it in half. Who, who did it the last time we put the center pin in? We sent I it out. Don't know. We sent it out? Okay. All right, that answers my question. Is this money going to come out of the repair replacement account, or are we going to take it out of free cash? I recommend free cash. Free cash, probably. Well, we would be technically for all three of those. Okay. For all three of those, would the intent be to drop the money in fleet repair replacement or would they just be allocated to that one task and the only reason why I'm asking that is the accounting is going to get really complicated if we're voting all of these as individual articles it would make more sense to to, to raise appropriate transfer or borrow some of money to the fleet repair replacement account for the purpose of just for the sake of when whoever is doing our books is doing the books it can all get allocated to a single account and all the checks written off a single account the only and this is this is only knee jerk the only knee, and, and that's the easiest the only knee jerk i have would be a limitation of only 4700 right mm. of only 10000 yes that's yes. where i was yes. thinking because so. if it's a separate article and it's own line item and then if there's more money after we could because but, if there were money left in that account they may could, also feel free to go beyond what the initial amount was. I'd, I'd rather have it as just an article. Right, so we're going to leave it to raise. I'd, I'd rather have it. That's just a knee jerk. Okay. So we'll make a motion to accept the um, 6000 to have it done. I'll make it. Second? I will. Any discussions? Bob? Any discussions? No, there's nothing we can do. Is it? If he says it's br broke, it's going to be next. Okay. That's the oh. articulating pin. It takes a lot of wear. Mm -hmm. All in favor? It's a heavy piece of equipment. <laughs> okay, we support it. <laughs> entertain a motion to support Article 28. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Article 29 is <laughs> the town to raise appropriate transfer borrow sum of money to the fleet repair replace <clears> account <throat> to fund yeah. planned vehicle replacement and unplanned vehicle repairs. It's not for the amount. So it's technically, if you said it's 19, it would be the amount of 81. Well, we did take a vote uh, 
now that I just remember, and I think we took a vote for 35, is that correct? Plus the 19 that's left. Plus the 19 that was in there. Only 35,000? <coughs> well, the board is placing this on as, I'm going to say, 81,000. Yep. Yeah, so you can 81. you can vote to support so it. So you want to go back on what we said? You want to support it for the 80, or you want to leave it the way we had it? It'll be a transfer from free cash. Right. Um, uh, and from a warrant vote perspective, if, if, if you want to abide by the vote that was taken, we could put it in the book as Board of Selectmen support at 81,000. And we support at the at the amount that y'all voted. So we okay, can, we, we can, already we voted, so we su we support it, and we'll just just we'll worry about the money after when well, the time I, comes. Do you, so my question to you as the okay. chair is: Do you want it to read in the warrant book that that the advisory committee su supports or recommends at thirty five at a level of thirty five thousand? Right. Well, and then, and then we can put that the board of selectmen support at a level of eighty-one. Eighty-one. That's up to you. What do you well, It's not a level. It's a transfer it's because a transfer. Be, it, no, it, no, at a level. At a level of. It's it's a term. It's like using the term loss. Yeah. So you support this article at a funding level of yeah. eighty-one thousand. <coughs> so you want to do the thirty-five? You want to just you want to just keep it where we have it, or you want to? What do you want to do? Well, that would make a total amount of sixty-four thousand dollars. 35 plus 19? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nope. 54. Yeah. No, 54. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's keep it where we at it. Which is 54. Do we know that, but do we know that's the definite figure that we have left in that fleet account? Well, at that time that we... A week ago it was 19,000 and some change, 300 something, I believe. So we're you're, trying you're, to get an updated. Uh, you're recommending that once we purchase a new vehicle for the chief of police and a used vehicle for the fire chief, basically that fund's going to be depleted altogether through two, through two purchases, and then we have no planning whatsoever yeah. for any other vehicle yeah. in the town of Brookfield for the fiscal year. So that's the purpose of the eighty-one. Yeah, that's what. We're well, what we've been doing, it seems, over the last you know couple of years is. Um, as my, I know what you're saying about planning, but what we end up doing is each year addressing each department's needs and generally <clears throat> just funding that vehicle for that year. It's been a knee jerk at a special mm -hmm. meeting. Well, Do we, we want to? We talk about it at our meetings. Right. In the no, it's at a special town meeting, every replacement, mm -hmm. basically, we're doing every replacement at a special town meeting as a knee jerk and necessity. That's, that's really not how you yeah. plan. I guess that's been our method of um, dealing with the problem. And the desire is to look at each department individually. I don't consider it a knee jerk because no. we know that the needs are out there, and we're just choosing to address them, a vehicle or two, at a time. Well, the knee jerk was that we were going to be down. And we were down actually. Another one broke a plow truck, huh? and we had to get it. But to me, that's a knee jerk. Okay, that All right, so we're, we're supported for now. We'll put, before the book's printed, we'll, we'll take another vote on the dollar amount so we can keep moving this on. So I'll entertain a motion to bring. How's that sound? Entertain a motion to support the uh, the final amount, whatever it is. We're saying 81 yeah. now, but mm -hmm. to bring that amount up to the 100,000. Yeah. I'll, I'll make that motion. Second. So you're saying you support it, Dave, but you don't want a specific amount? Right, right now. We, we will get that the next meeting before the books get printed. And, and we just need right. to find the number. Right. It's 81. So you're at 81, right? Yeah. If okay. it's at 19 now. Yep. All right. Check All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Article 30, to see if the town will vote. Put a question mark for you guys. To see if the town will vote to raise appropriate transfer, borrow some money to the library building repair and maintenance account and take an action level there, too. Yeah, we supported, we supported that already. That. Yeah. We already Is, voted. Did you guys talk about where you're getting it? Are you raising <coughs> appropriate or transfer or borrowing? Out of free cash. So you're transferring from free cash? Yeah. Yeah, okay, just so you know, we're we're recommending on every article other than water truck, town hall bathroom, and driveway that it come from free cash. You've looked at all other accounts? So I have not looked at all other accounts. Because we've uh, closed some of those out. Based on three twenty two. Well if there's if there's so, so and, and the reason why I hadn't looked at any other accounts is because oh. information regarding those other accounts was sometimes less than forthcoming from the financial team. If we are aware of certain accounts that have been previously voted that we would like to zero out uh, or that come evident as 
you know, whoever <coughs> comes in starts doing our accounting function, that's great. But currently, we can fund everything safely from free cash yeah. without mm -hmm. having to go through the validation of the accounts prior to town meeting, and we really only have, what, three weeks now at this yeah. point? So we can safely just do this from free cash, and we can always clean up the other accounts at the special. If we want to do an account cleanup at the special and transfer stuff into stabilization yeah. Yeah. or what have you, it <coughs> simplifies that whole process. Yeah. Well, special. We're, we're basing it on 322, right, Steve? The uh, free cash. You guys are pulling numbers. Well, it was 322, it was, 532 was, it was the official number it on was the paperwork for the yeah. state. Yeah, that's what the yeah. state certified. Okay, so that's so, what we're that's what we're basing. Where we're, that's where we're figuring yeah. the money's coming from. Yeah. Article 32, uh, say a motion to support. I'll make that motion. Second. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Article 31, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate transfer and borrow some of money to purchase air tanks, protective clothing for the fire department, take any action to live there. Two twenty thousand dollars Again, transfer from free cash? Yes. We supported that, too. Um, however. We didn't get a printout. We, <laughs> we ever asked that we see, Mr. Martell told <coughs> us that there is now a computer program that allows him to formulate um, uh, a replacement of equipment, you know, spread out over time so that we can look and see what we have already replaced in the last few years and what's coming up that's going to need replacement. And I had asked if he could give us, you know, once that should be implemented and give us a printout of that and we haven't gotten it yet. All we keep getting is re requests for replacement of can equipment, you, but we, we don't call, get any. Can you call him tomorrow and have that sent to the chair? Of the he gave us, well, this is what we got. We got uh, something tonight, but it was the same as we got three weeks yeah. ago. All we got was what the request is. Just that's let, it. Just let them know that, that let him know that that's in, insufficient. Didn't we talk to him about this when we were we, going over? We did. It's it's. And he it, said it's a lot of money. He, I, right. I, I'm assuming he's doing it in a capital. And didn't he say that this would be the last time for a while he would be requesting this? That's fine, but I want to see it. Is oh, it I understand you know that, Marie. I know what yeah. you're saying. It's like the school puts it's forth their capital. Because for every, a I mean, because every single year this is on. Right, yeah. and that's why we so, came to that conclusion. No, we want to see what, yeah. what, how many bottles are out. How yeah. many we, we, we asked, we asked yes. him when he was we in the room. We asked too. Yeah, we fully support, you know, taking care of the firefighters. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, but we just want. But we want to know, you know. We see twenty thousand every time. We want to know where it's going and, and, and how much. So what's we'll, being done? I we'll request it and from. it'll come through. So did you guys vote on this already? Yeah, we supported it. So entertain a motion for the board to support Article Thirty One. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Article Thirty Two to see if the town votes to raise appropriate transfer borrow some of money, purchase hydraulic rescue equipment for the fire department, take any action related there too. Why is there a question mark for four thousand, Karen? I <coughs> no, yes. That's what that's what was on the submission was four thousand. He requested four thousand, right? Some I don't know. Is that a jaws of life? Can you just Yeah, that's a jaws of life, it failed. Four thousand, make sure it's good. And you guys voted to support? We did. Mm -hmm. Entertain a motion to support Article thirty two. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Article thirty three to see if the town votes raise appropriate transfer borrow some money to replace the two base radios at the police station and one cruiser radio. To a radio upgrade that will need to be complete within the next three years or take any action relative there to fourteen thousand four hundred dollars. Mm. Yep, that's what he said. That's just the beginning. That's free yep. cash too. That's all yes. because they're upgrading all the digital. That's just the beginning. That's next digital? Year's gonna, Updating the walk. digital transmission. <clears throat> okay. That's what's driving it. Did you guys vote on this? Yes. You supported it? Yes. yes. Entertain mm -hmm. a motion to support Article thirty three. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? <coughs> Aye. Article 34, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer, borrow some of money from the water, so this will be a transfer. Water department surplus account, and it's going to be with its internal. Water department system improvement account for the purchase of a new truck, and the water department take any action on there too. Dave, you met with him, you saw the truck. Did yeah. your board take a vote on this? Uh, I don't think we took a vote yet on the water truck, did we? So the floor is yours. This is the one you said he did the repair on the body right. and stuff like that. Yeah. And it was yeah. only that small portion. Yeah, I looked at the truck. Um, 
It has some, it has some little bo tiny body issues. He's done some repairs, nice repairs. Um, the only thing he said it may need is a steering column. And he said he had a cracked leaf spring, I believe. Um, and it's got about 100,000 on it. I mean, if it was my truck, I would probably try to keep it in the fleet for two more years. That leaf spring might be a thousand dollar repair right there if you get it done professionally. Mm -hmm. If it needs to be, you know, if I don't know, but well, um, they've been doing. A lot I was of thinking, work wait, home. I was a couple of members were thinking once we get a new highway, a uh, new water superintendent, let him decide what he would like to do with the truck. What kind of vehicle? Yeah. They need or but I mean, right now, I would, I mean, myself, I would say not this year, I'd say maybe in two years or a year, I don't know. But the thing is, I mean, this is coming, I mean, it's from their money. It's not anything that we really have to raise and appropriate. Well, it's still, it's still, I understand that, Linda, it's still not coming out of the taxpayers, but it's still coming out of the town's water, out of the water money mm -hmm. from the townspeople. I mean, it, we just got done discussing if we can repair something rather than, you know, it's only got 100000 on it, so. That's my spiel, you guys. Yeah. And it doesn't go very far. <clears throat> no. Uh, regularly? No. It doesn't see highway miles at all, which is not good, but. Okay. Yeah. So I think we, I mean, I think we can get another two years out of myself, but we'll let the new water superintendent do it when he wants to, you know? I what think actually the primary, the, the one issue I heard raised that, that, that has, um, I shouldn't say it's the one issue I heard raised on this that has merit, but one of the issues that I heard raised on this that has some merit is depending on the department, some folks go with a truck with a toolbox body like what we have currently. Other communities are going with like vans that are set up with, with, with yeah. full tooling we, inside. We used to have, that's what we had before. We had right. the van and had the tooling oh, inside. Right. So, so, I think, so, I think yeah. the, so I think the point to <clears throat> waiting for the new superintendent is different people have different preferences. Some people like being able to like the toolboxes where you can access it all from the outside standing mm -hmm. on the ground because they don't want to, me personal, I don't want to be climbing in and out of the vehicle in order to get at my tools, but somebody <coughs> else might prefer, you know, getting so, out of the weather for a second. So you're, a, you're a water commissioner. You had the discussion, I'm assuming. Yep. So why not wait till the next water commissioner? And, and we discussed possibly Passing over this till fall, but for the purpose of waiting for the new individual. But he wanted to put the article on anyways. But I believe we should wait for the next superintendent because Bruce is retiring probably February. Is that the belief of the board, the commissioners? <coughs> yeah, that's the way we we left it at the last meeting. Yeah. And probably it's it's not bad to have it on there one to kind of alert the town to the fact that the need is coming and two if something cataclysmic happens in the next month since it is an older vehicle we have the option to do something with it. What year is that truck, Bob? You know? Two thousand three. But I I believe that truck will make make it to the next superintendent meeting so that he can uh -huh. maybe decide. We gave the last two super highway, uh, water superintendents the truck they wanted, and I think we should do that same for the next one. This truck will make it. The other two members feel the same way. Huh? The, the other two members feel the same way as you do. More or less, yeah. But uh, like I said, the, the, Ruth wants to throw it on, so that's why it's there. Well, you guys are in the air. I'm going to entertain a motion to pass over Article 34 <coughs> based on that discussion. I think so. Mm. You want to make them? Someone want to make a motion to do the same? All in favor? Pass over. Yeah. I make it. I, I, I abstain. I don't know. Okay. I just give you the information. Who wants a second to pass on this over? Oh, man. I'll second. All right. Bob seconds it, Marie. Yeah. <coughs> All in favor on that? Yep. Yeah. Yes. All in favor? Yep. Okay. So both boys going. Bob abstains, Marie. Yeah. Article 35, and see if the town will to raise appropriate transfer borrowers some of money to build a new addition to the cemetery set or take any action on the grave too. Uh, this is with the assistance of Can Tasker as well. We supported this. Entertain a motion for the board to support. Um, I'll make the motion, but I, I want to ask a couple of questions. Yeah, I'll second it for discussion. Yeah. Shoot. Okay, where is this coming from? Is this coming from some of their cemetery? Monies that they have are no, they're yeah. asking for they're asking for town funds on it Free because cash. because they uh, are are pretty tight on their 
on their capital improvement monies, although I don't have the fund balances. I'd have to go back into some of the old Because a lot boards. of times, whenever they've done things before, it's always come like from a lot of their interest-bearing accounts and things. How come they're yeah, so tight I, on money? I think that was low. It's down. You know, say, because of the perpetual care? Yes, it was down low. Because they, they funded a lot of the <coughs> matching money for the grants for like rehab on the gate, et cetera, out of that. Oh, they bought okay. a tractor. Remember the tractor? That I believe on. they told us they don't have the money. Right. Okay, all right, I just wondered, because that's what they, other years past, that's what they always did. They always took money out of their interest account. Right, Barbara? Mm -hmm. You agree where that's concerned? Yeah. So there's also a debate whether or not they can extend the addition because of the wetlands. Yeah. So there is a debate still going on. Oh, so, so they're not even sure that they can do it? There was an art, Emory and... Kenny were going at it in the street the other day that, <laughs> that there was an issue as far as the wetland. Well, then I wonder, should so, we, when will they know? Should we pass this until September, until special in the fall? Until we have more information? I'm kind of, that, that's where I'm kind of hanging. Well, let's find out from somebody and then before we, get, in the next week before we do the yeah. printing on the book, yeah. Okay. If they need it, they need it. But right. I mean, we support, the board, our board supports. I don't know what you guys want to do. <coughs> well, I went, how do they want to start it? I would entertain a motion to support it, just for the the yeah, desire to want to have a have a vote on it. But what, well, it's already there. We have it out there. Right. Um, I think we need some more info. But but, but, but that yeah. that that That's that board can vote to pass over it on the floor, in my opinion. Yep. Okay. So, any further discussion? No. I'll make the motion. Yeah. Yeah. I just raised the question: yeah. uh, uh, if they're going to have to end task or do uh, it, they are. They've already committed Then, if to we it. wait till fall, then we're into another year with the but school that's, year. That's so where far. that's where their board, their, okay. the commissioners, need to come okay. to town meeting and answer yeah. those questions, not these people. Yeah. 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 So, all in favor to support it? Aye. Right. Yeah. Aye. Article 36, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer bar or some money for the removal of structures to bring in the former campground of Cobbs Pine Lane and taking action relative there to the amount of 13500 Who sponsored that? What's up with the Animal Structure Commission? Board of Selectmen can sponsor it. Now, is this also a free cash? Yeah. And now, 35 is free, free cash, too? Yes. Okay. It's come, yeah, free cash. Free now, cash. we just, um... We didn't discuss this, did we? No. Okay, so what do you... The last number I saw was 17.5 to cover a matching... Yes. That sure. was, that was a different... No, this no, is a I different know. one. I know, that's why we're kind of surprised, because we, <coughs> we haven't seen I this. remember seeing that in the pile of stuff we got. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't discuss this, though. We all right, so this 13.5 is to tear down all the existing buildings at the campground so they can do this survey with the 17.5 plus the 17.5 to look for So this goes where? To the, does this go to the Board of Health? Yes, it's dumpsters. Right? It's dumpsters. Yeah, it's for dumpsters. Yes. The highway's going to tear everything down and throw it in dumpsters. Dumpsters? 35,000 on this for dumpsters? No, no, no. 13.5. No, 13.5 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, is a little. The original estimate to finish the building was 9,000. The guys then did the mowing and whatnot close to the wetlands and found that the wetlands had been used oh, yeah. as a trash can. So yeah. I went down there. It's all kind of debris, Marie, and the wet ones. It's oh, so you didn't take, okay. They've good. already spent 5000 6, 6000 already. Mm -hmm. And they've done a nice job down there. <coughs> Looks very good. nice. Mm -hmm. Dave, did your board support Article 35, the cemetery edition? Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. <coughs> all right, so how do you want to vote on, on the de campground debris cleanup at 135 is it? Yeah. Yes. I make a motion. We, yeah. we recommend it. Okay. okay. All in favor? Aye. That's unanimous. <coughs> Entertain a motion to support Article 36. I'll make that motion. Second. Discussion? Carry not all in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah, aye. But uh, just, just so we're clear, I will be in Boston on Friday to meet with the grant people. Thank you. Uh, Article 37. This was mm -hmm. the citizen's petition, correct? This is, yes, Mr. Blaze. Uh -huh. We voted uh, already on this one. We didn't support it. So the is this the, was a citizen we the But we put it on as, yeah. Technically it's not, but <coughs> the, the problem was what he, it, he submitted two petitions. One was illegal, basically. It would have been shot out and he would have had multiple years to wait before he took another bite at the apple. And the second one just needed to be rewritten. So for a lack of 
So this isn't a citizen position. For, for a lack of for a lack of progress, the board voted to put it on as a board as opposed to the citizens petition. Mm -hmm. right. In so doing, working with us to word it the way that he wanted it to get worded. Yeah. Um, this was this the final Still rendition. Yeah, this, this is, is the final. final. This is the final. And, and it'll be on him to basically defend this article. Um, I was opposed to the bylaw when it first came around, so I'd be opposed to this. You guys are opposed to it. Yes. So I'll entertain a motion just uh, to support Article Thirty Seven. You no. support putting it on, or you? you the, the motion is to support it. I don't know how the other board is going, how the rest of the board is going to vote. They can vote no, like I'm going to vote, or they can vote yes. So the motion will be to. That's just. I'm just. It's just kind of confusing. Well, see, he's just trying to be consistent. Yeah. That's fine. I'll support the motion to put it on. Are you going to make second. the motion? I'll yeah. make the motion. Okay. I'm seconding. So again, discussion. I, I do not support this. I will be voting no on this. All right, I'm going okay. to be voting in favor. <clears throat> Because I want to congratulate Mr. Blaze for at least taking the initiative to bring. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. I I think this board, especially myself, helped him yep. in getting it to this point. Exactly. So I'm not guilty of mm -hmm. of helping him. I'm guilty no, of no. not supporting it. No, and and I'll take the second point that that what's gone over there. I mean, both parties are probably <coughs> wrong in to what's mm -hmm. gone on, but the reality is those two vehicles shouldn't be there. Well, the reality is it's not just, this isn't governing just those two vehicles, right. it's governing the entire oh, town. I, I do have one question about it, just if, if we're, at least, if you work with them in order to support this and, and are... Well, not to it support it. Well, not to, to support it, but to, 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 have, to have his voice be heard as a citizen of the town of Brookfield. I, I understand. Okay. The one correction I would rec strongly recommend to the current text would be to go with a six foot fence instead of a 10 foot fence because if you read our other bylaws you can't erect anything more than a six foot fence without going to get a, a zoning variance from the building committee no you have to get an engineer this, this this is his this is his desire okay we I'm already just, just, I'm just can bring that up I'm on just, the floor. I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. We've on the planning board we've suggested several things to him on the bylaw committee they've suggested several things to him right. um, I've been talking to Doug. Other people have been talking to Doug. It's just a matter yeah. of three I, cars. I just, it's a, it's a it's dispute just, I, between two neighbors. And I think what I see from my point of view is just going to be hindering the commercial business in our town by putting more government intervention of more bylaws to another business trying to, trying to do something in town here. All our businesses are leaving. I mean, now you're going to say this guy's got a license though, but he has a couple cars still hanging around. He didn't. He didn't seem to mind when the whole packing had, had 200 cars over there. Now the street left, and he. Well, he he did. He actually he complained. Oh, yeah. no, he complained yeah. about yeah. the use. Uh, well, when you live you live next to a commercial business, you have to expect <coughs> whatever goes on there. Well, I see so we have a motion. <coughs> Discussion is done. All in favor of supporting Article 37. I'm in favor. I'm not in favor because we got. So the the board of selectmen does not support right. Article 37 with a vote of. Two to one. Because we got so little information on it tonight, too, on some of the things that are in it. Yes. Article 38, to see if the town will vote to amend the town's general bylaws. And this is, again, bringing up the discussion we had two to three years ago with the advisory committee literally melding the capital improvement planning committee into the advisory committee and renaming it the finance committee. <coughs> We didn't discuss this one. Shoot. I thought we voted not to support it. Yeah. yeah. Did we discuss it? I think we did it? discuss yes. it. We voted we don't recommend it. Murray, did we discuss this? Must have been very brief. I remember getting the papers for it, but um, But we didn't just really come out and discuss it. Yeah. All right. So does everybody? I make a I make a motion. Well, I'll make the motion in the form of to recommend it since that's the format that we're using. No, do we does anyone want a second? Does anyone we... well recommending would be supporting it? So, does anyone want a second for discussion? Thank you, Beth. Did we already talk about this, and who was in support? Right. Yeah. Well, there's been, no, there's been no second. There's been no second. So, right. <clears throat> I'll okay, second so. it for discussion. Okay, you second it for discussion. All right, what do you guys want to talk about? I do. do you, I do not support this. I do not recommend it. On what basis? Why? Yeah. If you realize it's literally the same exact language. Okay, so not exactly. 
Well, let's see here. Where do we want to start? Grabber, <clears throat> well, you got anything to say about this? I think it should um, stay the way it is. Okay. <clears throat> I think there's a. I think there's a couple of different. I, I think there's a couple of different problems with it. Um, one of them being the fact that we really currently barely have the bandwidth. There's, a, there's been a lot of discussions. First of all, we have been doing the budget for off and on for probably, from what I understand, about 30 years in this town. However, I think from a, this, I don't think delegating the budget to the advisory committee is necessarily um, the way that it, Selectmen can really be involved and knowledgeable about what's going on down in the departments. Okay, and, and they're the executive. So while we have been doing the budget, I think directing that the budget be developed by the selectmen robs you all of some of the conversations that we've been having with the departments that would be useful <coughs> to you as the executive of the town. So that's one of my personal objections to this. Well, to answer that, we have those discussions because they're coming to us when money issues arise. I think everyone on this board is pretty much aware of every request that each yeah. department has because they bring it to us, yeah. if not personally, to the entire board. Um, in regards to the committee developing the budget, I sat on the advisory committee and in town meeting, I had the chairman to the left of me and a member to the right of me that were that close of getting up and leaving because all the work that they've done mm -hmm. was superseded by the three select board members <clears throat> without any discussion whatsoever. And, and one of the changes in this is it labels the finance, now finance committee to devise a budget. And if you remember two or three years ago, there were like three or four different budgets mm. out there, and we mainstreamed it where you guys are doing the budget and it, and it works. I think we have a pretty good grasp on what's going on in town. So right now, the bylaw reads what? You, selectmen, are supposed to be doing the budget, but yet the advisory board does it. I don't think it even reads mm. that. I don't think there's anything in the No, bylaws. the bylaw says that we'll just advise on the warrant with regards to things that relate to Proposition 2 and a half. And, okay. and, which, and every which other pr anything every pertaining to two and a half is really <coughs> budget related. Mm -hmm. it, it could be, it could include the entirety of the operating budget because, as as we see in some of our neighboring towns, if you fail to, you know, control your overall expenses, <coughs> you wind up going to the town for exclusions and overrides. So and the second piece of it that that, um, you know, I, I really don't support and, and really wish we'd had this conversation perhaps when this was getting drafted is the fact that it says that we'll provide a capital improvement I guess annual report to the selectmen uh, previously that capital improvement report was supposed to be provided to the town meeting okay when it was a separate and, and it committee was, and it was never actually <clears throat> Presented even when there was a, a, a report that was developed, it never was presented to the town meeting. So, I, I think that we I think that need to start by adhering to what was originally in our bylaws. I think that committee met once in the whole existence of that bylaw mm -hmm. and hasn't met since. So, the bylaw is just moved. So, and that's a desire yeah. to implement all of that function within one finance committee. And I don't see how that's a bad thing. Well, be, well I, just a, an opinion. As you all know, and as everybody has seen over the past number of years, the reason that that Capital Improvement Committee has become moot is because our town has severe limitations as to what we can do toward that end. Which is why we've been, as, as much as it may irritate some people, we've been taking it department by department and looking at each department's needs and who has the most severe and pressing needs and we address that department that year. Sometimes you can squeeze in more than one, but... But that's, that's the argument for yeah. that, that function that yeah. you're already doing. But a lot of times we don't know what we have to, to work with that's, until we get numbers back. That's why, we want to, that's why we want to implement this. I Will think you? it's understood, though, that having 
that capital improvement com committee is to have you know the foresight down the road. We don't always have the foresight down the road. But we, that's why you want to implement it into a new committee, which would be the finance committee that would be charged with that. That there will be a hump, there'll be a hurdle for the first correlation of all that information, but once you get it, it'll just run smoothly. I, well, I think when we're, when we're not correctly um, able to, what is it? Well, one of the challenges is, is the fact that we, we, we have not previously, we collectively, advisory committee and board of selectmen, <coughs> have not previously generated any type of five-year revenue projection that would include the tax levy, that would include <coughs> local receipts, that would include potential you know, funding, whether, you're, you're it's, whether it's, and, and without, without planning both sides of that equation, okay, with, without communicating and having cogent conversations about both the, the revenue and the cost side of the equation, you can't put together a capital plan. So until we get a little more rigor around... But you're, you're making, and Marie's making the argument to start something like this, and now's well, the perfect time to do it. I, I don't support it until we have some cogent financial guidance, guidance procedures. Through, through what? This, this, from would, this would be the procedure. No, that's not a procedure. It is a procedure. That's, a, that's an allocation of, of the work and responsibility yeah. off of the Board of Selectmen to the volunteers in the town to do it, and which would be great, except that we've been having a hard time filling the board. We don't have a lot of people with the... The, the skills to do that type of capital planning, and we haven't been able to get accurate revenue reports for as long as I've been on the advisory committee. So uh, until we have all of those pieces and can do that planning, I, I'd, I'd, I'd rather let's have the conversation up front. We need to get accurate revenue forecasts, and we need to start. We've been having this conversation for at least three, if not four years. Yeah. So why not <coughs> take action now? Why not move forward with this? Stabilize your internal financial team <coughs> first, and then build the structure around it. All right, so they voted not to support it. I'm going to entertain a motion to support Article 38. When we've been on, I mean, some of us have been on that committee You were before, on the committee, and Dave and was it, on the committee. And it all fell apart. Mm -hmm. I was on it too, and, and, and it, way back. It just fell apart because, because you the, just couldn't hold There's no money. There's, right, there's no funds. You know, we would lay it out there. And it would sound good, and then you would have people come in and say, "Well, I put it on there three years in a row, and I haven't got it yet." So it makes you seem like, "Well, what have we done? We've done nothing." But that this puts a format together, and it shows what we are doing. But we still don't have to, the to figures. Me, to we me. don't have the people to give us the figures. This is what we're up against. We we beg we. We, so the we, we to, to me the to get what we yeah. need to, to me do the something the, to me the can. perfect storm is working. I have I have Deb Boyd telling me that she is extremely happy that we finally got Betty to reconcile with her. Yeah. Uh, she said Sandy is coming a long way. That the schools reconcile with the town, which is great. Um, having Betty retire and bringing in a new individual allows us to train the way that we need to train, mm -hmm. and we all get on the same page. I think this would just be the perfect storm to move forward in a positive manner. I mean, we are doing capital improvement on this committee, and we you, know you what are. every department needs, yeah. and we are discussing. Yeah. And, this, and then this, when the free cash comes up, we say, well, who, who should get what first, and what's and important? This, this puts yeah. So we are doing it, Steve. This this and this allows indirectly. You, this allows you to start and to imp implement your own procedures on how you want to do it in in regards to best comments. I just I see this as a win win. It, it I, takes away something. It takes away something that's non-existent. You guys are already saying you're doing it in the same breath saying that you can't do it. I don't know. Well, given the, the current change in situation with the town accountant, that to me throws a little bit more of a cloud over this for the present because that's not... But this isn't to say that we're going to hold your feet to the fire and say, where's my report? <laughs> we, 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 have, we have a bylaw, yeah. we have a bylaw on, on our books mm -hmm. that already says this section too. Mm -hmm. It's not being done. We don't have a sitting committee for this. This allows us to move forward in a positive manner. 
I think this is a good time to do it too. I mean, it's a good it's we're, a good thing, but I mean, we don't. How much how much time can you know this committee can put forth? You know, as much time as you can, Dave. Yeah. Well, that's what that's we're it. trying to do. That's I mean, it. I, I don't think when any, the budget season is done, these, that's when we could probably do it. I've seen I've seen four or five people rotate through these seats, and I don't think anyone's criticized the advisory committee on what you've done and no. what you haven't done. I think we commend everyone for what you yeah. do, and you don't do it for five hundred dollars a year. No. I don't get anything. A lot of aggravation. I don't make friends. <laughs> More enemies. You wouldn't shot. make friends whether you were on this committee or not, Dave. Come on. Come on. Don't blame me on the advisory committee. <laughs> so Come on. It, I got to blame it on Come somebody on. or something. Well, For sake of time, you guys already voted on this. No. I'm, well, you guys already have, apparently. Yeah. So I'm going to entertain a motion for the Board of Selectmen to support Article 38. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Well, we'll do, Steve. We'll discuss this again uh, at our next meeting. I, I'd, ask, I'd ask that you would. I think it's a, I think it's a, good, it's a good time right. to do it. Yeah. We'll go over it again. Yeah, now that we got, you know, it's really spelled out here. That's good discussion. <coughs> Article 39 to see if the vote. Uh, the vote. See if the town will vote to accept the following changes in Chapter 15 personal, personnel bylaw, taking the action over there, too. Um, I've had a discussion with uh, Attorney Rendazzo. She's asking that we pass over. Linda is advising that she asks. That we don't pass over right off. We leave it on because she's getting back to me again tomorrow <clears throat> with some new ideas with it. So it's a possibility we might leave it on or we could pass it over that night and <clears throat> we'll put it on in the fall. Because we've worked very hard on this. We've been working since last summer on it. And we just didn't come up with changes you know what we just didn't pull them from the sky we looked at a lot of different communities so we went by the town of wales we went by um, north brookfield and barry to get a lot of to go with our um, personal handbook yes. that's what we through, got through discussion implementing this yep. we put the town in, in a well, Michelle, we, we, we hold the town liable for a lot of things so well michelle is going to um she's going to put a lot of it out more so that the rest of the board understands it. Yeah. So for now, I would like to leave it on, and if we want well, to pass over, well, that's a discussion. Yeah. So I'm, we'll I'm going to entertain a motion. Do we want to support it, or do we want to pass over it? As a, so I'm going to entertain a motion for consistency to uh, support Article 39. So I have a motion to support Article 39. I have a motion. Um, I'll make the motion. Give a second. Okay. Through discussion with Attorney Mendazo last week, I am voting not to support no. Article 39. I'm voting to support it as of now. And All in favor of supporting? I'm, I'm, I'm voting against moving forward until we have a clarification from the from So the do you want to support it? Or I do not want to support it so at this time. We, well, the board does not support it with a two to one vote. How do you guys want to, how do you guys? Um, well, I'm, I'm a little confused. You're not supporting it. They're trying no, to do a new one. I'm, 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 so we do not I'm going to be. I'm going to be packed where Clarence is packed, as he always says. Well, yeah. well, we need to get more clarification I, of what yeah. they're doing I, in this book. I, I'll make them, Hang I'll on a minute, Beth. Before we, before I vote, I want to know exactly what all this means. Now, why would you want to delete the following sections? Because we have taken and we have <clears throat> amended them. Yeah, you have them in different places. We have them in different places. But you've taken this out of context, and I like to see the whole thing before we well, vote. Well, the reason that we put it like this was because it was suggested by Me. by Steve to put that we would uh, delete all of these because it would have been too long to put the whole personnel bylaw in here. Do, <clears throat> but, well, my understanding was was that, it, that as I read through this, it, it looks like we're deleting a bunch of the bylaw and then substituting it with a handbook. Yeah. So is yes. a copy of that handbook, a draft copy of that handbook, it hasn't been approved yet. available to... No. Didn't we send... I thought, <coughs> it is available, but it's a draft. I, I, it haven't, hasn't, I, I haven't seen the draft. Has I thought the draft, the draft was sent no. to, out to you. I, I think that puts the horse before the car. That's mm -hmm. why I just... The car before the horse. That's why I'm going to so, be back next to Clarence. So, well, and that's why I was going to make a motion to, to recommend passing it over. But her, her, board, her board doesn't want to do that. They yet. don't want to do that. And, so, and we're getting a ruling, like I said, Town Council is sending me something else tomorrow, and then I will know better whether or not we'll pass over it on Town Hall. Can you pass that along to us then? And could we get a draft of the personnel? Yeah. Yes, I will. Karen, do you have the draft? I, I what do you all want to do? You want someone want to make a motion to pass over it or accept it? I'll make a motion to pass over. Someone want to second it to pass over this? Second. 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. Linda, do you want me to wait until before I give it to you? I can't well, make heads or tails. I would like them to say it properly now. Yeah. Okay. It's, just a, it's a review <coughs> draft. It's okay. not a published yeah. copy. Yeah, no, I would like them to have it. You guys have done a lot of good work. Yeah, we've done a lot of good work to it. Article 40, well, and that, see, that's not, everybody seems no is a negative. It, this is a liability issue. We can't set the town up for oh, that I liability. Under, oh, I understand that, Steve, right. but she's going to write something up tomorrow that I will give to the rest of the board. Steve, this is going to happen. They just, they want to pass over. Correct. <coughs> because <coughs> Linda doesn't want to even right. have the discussion <laughs> to pass over. Article 40, to see if the town... To see if the town shall require that full-time police officers complete full-time police officer academy training prior to being hired by the town of Brookfield to take any action role of there too. Have your board has your board talked about this? Yes. We supported this. Unanimously? No. It was five to one. I'm going to entertain a motion to support Article 40. Do I have a motion to support Article 40? Uh, I'll make that motion. I'm not going to second it. I want a second for discussion. Well, <coughs> to see if the town I think it ties the chief's hands. The to labor market that's tightening up. The town will Now, even I saw there might have been some room to take a look at, at and I don't know if you're in the midst of negotiations. Well, the contract that we had this discussion when the officer left, <coughs> trained by the town of Brookfield, paid by the town of Brookfield yeah. while he was being trained. Six months. Fought, mm -hmm. fought yeah. for by the, fight by the board to keep him there because mm -hmm. he was sick. Sat in front of the board and said he'll never leave, and then left. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I have right. bad taste in my mouth. Yes. Right, I, but I, you know, it, it'd be one thing if we were paying maybe a different rate while they're in school. I don't know that. that I don't think you can. Yeah, but a lot. We've had this happen, Beth, for many years. This isn't just the first time we've had it. It's. it's That's what I'm saying. There might be some options depending on, and and you you probably can't under the current contract. But is there any is there any option mm -hmm. to mitigate our risk in the future from a standpoint of having a a a training starting salary if someone's coming in without the academy? versus a <coughs> fully qualified starting salary and we're not paying for their training. You, you see what I'm saying? Because our reserve officers get paid one rate that is, is not controlled contractually. Our full-time officers have a different starting salary. You know, is there, is there a way to, to at least work in some protection to the town from a standpoint of what we're paying while they're in school if, if we don't go this route? But at the same time, I don't want to be a stepping stone for mm -hmm. We've been, we, we've like been. you're saying, we've been a stepping stone too many times oh over God. the years. We, I can even tell you to go back 25 years, Beth. We've had people, um, the town has trained them and they've left. Right. The, the, the and I mean, I don't think it's fair to the townspeople here to be paying their, their tax <coughs> dollars to support somebody. So it's like Steve said, it's a stepping stone so that they go to another community. Right, but currently, and I, I think this is the piece we need to understand, and, and it speaks back to the labor market, is I know other towns experience the same thing. I'm not saying it's right, and I'm not saying I, I, I think it's appropriate behavior, okay? But currently, one of the kind of like the standard hiring practices is towns pay for the academy when they're hiring full-time officers, and frequently, you know, in a smaller town, you're going to get somebody who's not necessarily academy trained because the money is in other towns. It's in bigger towns, and, and some of them will pay people off the street to go to the academy as well. Do, are you aware of any towns? Like, do we know how many towns in this, the state this of is a, This is a citizen's money? petition. It's a citizen's petition. No, I, I, I understand that. Not, I'm just saying yeah. from a supporting well, it. Does it have something I'm to saying from a. I'm saying from a supporting it perspective. I'm not saying from a placement. It's a citizen's petition. It needs to be on there. It's a good discussion. You're absolutely right. We've gotten burnt, and I don't think it's fair to the taxpayers. No, it's but not. it's uniformly unfair to the taxpayers right now because it's a standard practice in the market that this is what communities do when they hire police but officers. But we have had people That's come in. We've had a lot of people come in that have paid for these <coughs> courses themselves before they've applied for these positions. That's well, not they, the norm. They, 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 that is not the norm when you get hired to go to, they to, were, get, they to put trained. through the town. He's going the to past, put you through. The past few have been trained prior yes. to being hired. Yeah. 
So sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So it is it, now what does the chief express to you as a, as a board? Exactly what Clarence stated. He doesn't want his hands tied. Mm -hmm. He recommends possibly putting into a contract. But he also came before this town last year and said that this guy that we just put I, through I know, was know. not going to be leaving. I, I bet he's and he feeling left pretty burnt right He now. does. He does. Yeah. And, and he, let, he went to North Brookfield, and North Brookfield just lost three guys that they just put through well, school. Well, none, none of us literally found they out. left. None of us literally found out until we saw our Facebook post. Hmm. That he left. That he left. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Well, if, if, if nothing more, at least the town's taxpayers will see what's going on in the different departments. And this is one thing, last year when I brought it up, if you remember, Could people be. did not know that they were shelling out this kind of money. Also, you have to remember, if we hire this guy and he takes off and goes into the academy, now we have to hire another officer, part-time officer. Part officer, to fill his hours. Sure. In the meantime, we're still paying him for 40 hours for six months, and we also come up with three, four grand to put them into the academy. <coughs> so, I mean, as long as the taxpayers know this is going on, if they think it's okay, that's okay. fine. But at least they're going to have an option at the town meeting to say yes or no to this. This practice, you know. So, Clarence, you still sold on? Uh, it's the police chief's decision. I'm going to let him make that. Well, it's, it's the Board of Selectmen's decision because well, we ultimately, vote. Ultimately, but, yeah. but again, let him manage his department. I support it. So there's a motion. No more just for the discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I support it. You don't support it? No. Board selectman supports it two to one. Yep. <clears throat> and how did the advisory board do it? Are they all five? We all put one. Five all but one. one. Okay. Article 41, to see if the town shall require that part-time police officer complete part-time police officer kind of Wait a minute. Excuse me, Steve. No, we don't support it, Linda. Oh, you're not support We don't support it. You don't support it? No, no, no. I mean, we, we support putting it on. I know it's past 9 o'clock. Yeah, we, put, we support putting it on, but we don't support passing it at the town meeting. Five of us said no, that we don't want to pass it. Oh, we were no. in agreement no, again? I David, no, what are you saying? We were in no. favor. No, favor on full time <laughs> and not on part time. Required. We right. were in favor of this being required. Oh, that's what, okay, that's, okay. Okay. that's what I meant to say. I knew we weren't in agreement. Right, I knew we weren't in agreement. Okay, all right. Are you Long still, as that's are you, clear. Are you still parked there, Dave? <laughs> We got it, we got it. No, no, I wasn't packed there. I was, that was for the handbook, not for this. Are we past your bedtime? <laughs> We're past my bedtime. Item 41, to see if the town I'm shall, glad we had that discussion. shall require that part-time police officers complete part-time police officer academy training prior to being hired by the town of Brookfield to take any action over there, too. Did you guys vote on this? We, yes. We support uh, this also. You support? Five, five, one. Five, one. We're going to go But I want to see, at the meeting, I want to see if we can amend this a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, saying that if someone does get hired as a part-timer and they're, st and they're going to the uh, classes, you know, during that time at their expense, then it would be okay for them to get hired as long as they're going through the classes um, on their in own time. In progress. In progress. Right, in progress. Okay. Can I do, can I make that amendment at the town see, meeting? I don't see why not. Just okay. To present it to the moderator in town. The court. intent is just so the town doesn't have to, to, to pay, that's all. Right? That's so I'm gonna. Well, and the only, and then the only. Oh, okay. But then there's the issue of them getting a paycheck while they, so they wouldn't be. Or if you don't know, they could be hired. At the they could be working weekends and then going to this part time academy. Right, because they're part time. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So, but then at that point, would they become eligible for our town's reimbursement for classes pertaining <laughs> to your job skills, even though they're a part time officer? So, so. As part of our current personnel bylaw, if people are taking training and, there's, and, and budget exists for it, now that's where the, it gets a little hairy because if we don't know the person. Well, it has to be a full time position, doesn't it? Or would it? Or does it? I don't know how it's worded. It's under education, so. It's under education. All right, and so I don't maybe think, we I should. I don't know that it has to. I'll pull it up. I don't know that okay. they have to be. It's a good point. Full time and benefit eligible. Yes, yeah, so I can't remember. What I may not want to amend it then. <laughs> 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 okay, all right. So anyway, the, the, our board recommends putting it on, but we don't support it. Yes, we do support it. I mean, we, yeah, I mean, we support, support the way it reads. Get him a bottle of tea. 
Get a bottle. Of I need a Snapple is what I need. Post? I need a Snapple movie. Right, so I'm going to entertain a motion to support Article 41. I'll make that motion. Yeah, I'll second it for discussion. Um, I didn't know there was a huge history of this. Can anyone yeah. educate so, me that this has been abused? No. I didn't know so they don't. <coughs> you know, they huh? I'm actually have to abstain because my son-in-law is actually talking to the chief to actually volunteer to pay to go to this training to be as a volunteer. So, so do you have any work knowledge that I, the town... I don't, I don't, I don't remember, do. I don't no. ever remember the I know town. Two, I knew, now I know of two people who have actually paid their way yeah. to do this. But the town, it's not at the town's yeah. expense. Yeah. Not at the not town's, the town's expense. expense. So this is... All right, so with no further discussion, all in favor of supporting Article 41? All opposed to Article 41? Aye. Aye. No, I'm 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 so okay. the Board of Selectmen does not support Article 41. <laughs> Article 42, to see if the town shall require that a notification be posted on the town <laughs> common prior to any and all elections, town meetings, take any action related there too. Did you guys vote on this? No. We didn't vote on this, no. Is this going back to getting your old town crier that will start ringing the wall? That would be cool. <laughs> I'd pay for that. Oh, I'd do it. Oh, hear ye, hear ye. All right, so this you know, is basically... That's how it was done years ago. You know. This is Someone brought this up is basically because the sign didn't get put out there this past election. Yeah. And they, we want to make sure... So we, we want to put, in, a, we want to put in the bylaws that the town clerk has to do it, so when he doesn't do it, what ramifications are there? None. Do we, do we do we whip him on the? Do, do we get some locks and stalks? Well, we could either whip him or tar and feather him. Well, then it goes on record that he did not follow the bylaws. How about that? Oh, come on, find him. The whole the intent, I think, whoever put this in, is to make sure that the sign gets put out there. I'm surprised the sign wasn't out there. I, I think well, a simple discussion and understanding that there might be some things going on in lives and situations and. But, but this is an election process, and the people so what, have become what, reliant yeah, on yeah. that sign. Every, every we, town we has a, a sign. You need a sign. They, they, we they have a sign. It should have we been just put, didn't put it up. I can't understand why you didn't. A lot of people didn't even know it was an election. Yeah. So who, are busy. Who, who, I'm not happy about it. I'm not. Who, did, who noticed it was missing? I just if it was missing, why did they I go noticed to, it why myself. Why didn't they go to the town clerk and say, hey, your sign's not up? He wasn't in the building. He wasn't. Well, go to the selection and say it's sign generally it's supposed to be it's up our sign. the time before an election, right? I used to get it out there at least a week or better before and, and the election. And the reply I heard was, well, it was posted in the Citizen. Well, apparently not everybody yeah. reads the Citizen yeah. because there were many complaints yeah. that they didn't even I know, know there was a lot an election of people, going on. Because I, so. I came up that day and I said to somebody, aren't you going to vote? And they said, well, for what? Oh, for I what? thought the town election's going on. Oh, oh we didn't know that. Know and that's not a good thing. thing. All right, so do you guys support it or not support it? Yes, we do. <clears throat> you just going to speak unanimously for everyone? Or? Well, I'll make a I'm motion to support. I'm speaking for myself, and now I'm letting someone make a motion. I'll make a motion to support this article. Someone want to second it? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Barbara? Aye. Are you in favor of this? No. Did you say no? You're not in favor of requiring that the sign be put on the common. I stay with the fact that I think the communication in this town has got to get on the ball and instead of making all these rules and regulations and so forth, go to the people and talk to okay, them. Okay, well this is a form of communication mm. yes. that people have relied on for right, many years. Whatever. I'm just saying, it is a form of communication yeah. that people are and relying on. And then a, a robocall wasn't made either. In other years oh, it's been a robocall. That's good. Well, you need the robocalls unless you have someone's cell phone number. We have every number. Yes. You're still gonna, you know. So you guys support it by majority? Yes. So I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say no to. I'm gonna go with yeah. yeah. So it's two to two to uh, four. You said who who else said no? No. Two to four. You said two, no? not two. So it's we majority. We support it. So I'm gonna entertain a motion no? to support Article 42. What? I'll make the motion. <coughs> I'll second for discussion. People need to I'll second for discussion. Do we really need discussion? I think we know how we're going to vote, don't we? <laughs> we do. So I'm going to take a call now. We good? No discussion? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we would. yeah. So all, all in favor of supporting Article 42? No. All opposed to supporting no. Article 42? No. It's unanimous no. the board selectman does not support right. Article 42. I think we should talk to him. Yes. I think everybody in this room has. Yeah. 
Oh, all those advantages you get on the floor, I still want to find at least a dollar. Stocks. Why don't you put it with stocks? I'll build, I'll build some stocks. So to, me, so to me, that makes a joke of the people's <laughs> lack of, you know, notification and their ability to <laughs> give their <laughs> voice during the vote. That, that's making a mockery of the process, if you ask me. And I, don't, I, I don't agree that it's a mockery. I, I well, think saying find him a dollar. Or put it in stocks. That's making so, the mockery so, so of it. So again, it brings it back to the discussion. What yeah. teeth does that bylaw have? What does any bylaw teeth have? Some have it, some don't. It brings it brings attention to the fact that Needs people are complaining we all that brought, they didn't get all, to vote. We all just brought attention to it. And the irony is, he just got reelected as town clerk in that vote. But well. It's, a, it's an issue. It, it, it probably won't become an issue again because now it's also so been made known to him yeah. that well, people well, are well, unhappy just, uh, about okay, that. It's, it's the first time in how many years that he's well, served this town? I get it. How many, I get it. How many elections in town meetings? I get it. But it's the essential function of government to notify people. I don't. I don't disagree that it was wrong. But he's a human being. He made one mistake, and we're going to have a knee jerk. I went and checked the next day after the meeting. And then he, I mean, so, another thing, so he, he didn't leave any notification who even got in this year, and I think that was wrong, and I called him out on that, too. Because you're supposed to take and post one of your um, ballots and let people know who got in these offices. And I called up the next morning to see what the vote was, and there was nothing here. Uh -huh. And that's something, another thing he's going to be talked to about. Oh, I get it, but in the scheme of things, I think that can be rectified very readily. But once an election has gone by, that can't be fixed. So well, we'll talk to him about it. Like you say, I'm sure everybody has. But. It's getting late, can we? Yes. Can I'm we? I'm looking for a motion. So I'd like to adjourn and go over this another night. Um, well, when would you like to go over? Because we don't want to be, I want to make sure we have enough time to do this. What are we going over? When is it Tuesday night, our next meeting? Oh. Oh, yeah, our next meeting on Tuesday. A week next from Tuesday. tomorrow? Ooh, no, see, now we're getting. So we need to have the discussion. Before because, then. Because, so here's the problem, is that from a standpoint of getting the books done, did he give you the amount of time he needs to get it done? No, but I, 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 want, us, I want us to take, the whole board take and review it be well, before and, it goes and, to the printer. And, I want and, us and, to and, we and actually and, say, okay, this is what's going to be printed, and all of us agree on it. So, so the one piece that we probably need an answer before then from a standpoint of just the physical changes I'm going to have to make to that spreadsheet right. to get it to the printer in time. To Gary, yep. I am one person and I will need somebody to, to cross check me and edit me, okay, is what are we doing about salaries? Well, well that's going so, to be in the discussion so, when we go over this, right? Well, you that, you I mean, that's the, that's, the, that's the thing that will change the largest number of lines on this document, and if I don't have an answer tonight, quite frankly, I'm... And you have nothing in here, Well, are we going to Well, are we going to agree to putting that in there, or are we going to do an amendment after we go to the town, on the town floor? You have nothing yeah, no. in here currently, right? We don't no. want to do that. Everything was that's how it's always been done. No, but usually we have something in there. All right, so did you guys take a vote on it? On, on the colas? Is that your question? Yes. Yes, I think it was 1%. You voted as a board to... And you know that's going to be amended we on never the floor. We never voted it. I don't remember us voting on the It was brought up. We had a, we had a discussion about yeah. it. We did no, we did, it. we did vote that. All right, when we vote, we, I know we voted it. All right, so... It was five to one. Could we meet? No, Beth voted. Marie. Beth, 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 didn't, Beth was the only one that didn't vote on it. We're right down to our deadlines again. What? We're right down to our deadlines again. I know. I don't by know. The, by, by the nose. So let's get back to the question, guys, of when can we meet with you again soon? Well, we have to wait two days to post legally. Okay. Because I think it's too late to go working on this now. My well, I agree with you, Linda. I'm just saying, but we, I think we can't wait till next if I, week. If I can say, I think some of our problem with this whole thing is that it would shorten the length of time that we're spending here, like tonight, going over all this and thrashing it out and everything. If we could get together, and when we have a meeting, we have a representative from the 
But that's, Lord, I'm gonna, that I'm gonna, comes I'm gonna, to I'm gonna our stop meeting, and I know that's another meeting for you. No, and not at all. Side. I'll no, vote no. as many as you want, but if you have one, Clarence is going to vote differently than yeah. I'm going to vote. And it's I'm not, not even, saying it's not vote. Even a vote. I don't, I don't but it's mean vote. It's not even a vote. He's, he's going to have one. He's going to have one different opinion. I don't mean to vote. I don't even. I don't even want his vote. I just. I'm on the. I'm on the phone with there, David. Clarence. I agree. <laughs> I'm on the phone with David, who's your chair, probably two or three times. But a day. I'm saying, when you sit in, if some representative, just like at the school committee meetings, we used to yell about it all the time. If you had a representative from the town at that meeting to carry the message back to mm -hmm. you people. We wouldn't be here thrashing it out so But you're long. an autonomous board. You have three elected members on the school committee. You don't need a selectman sitting in on, you don't need an advisory committee member sitting on every meeting. It helps. Maybe during budget season. It helps, during budget season. That's what I mean. The, the I don't mean every meeting. The only issue that long. we have here right now is. But through is, budget season, we if we could get together and have somebody attend our meetings, they carry it back to you, you discuss it, and then when we get together, we know where we're going. But I carry everything back to this board yeah. through your chair, chair to chair, and that's the way it's always been done. Peter's as chair of this board. I know, and we're always right to the deadline trying to get these books out there to the people. Now, how much? I've, how I've even done them on a day where I have to go out. How long of a time does he need to <coughs> this? To what? To get this to who used and Gary Fuller again? Yeah, mm -hmm. out in North Brookfield. <coughs> I mean, he he's very obliging, but that's oh, not I the know point. Gary you shouldn't is, put him on the spot every time. But All I'm going to do is I'm going to alert him of when we think we're going to have it, and he'll be ready for us in a few days. You have over three weeks. Yeah. Well, we had this discussion and then last got, fall And then you've got your departments. Uh, the departments. The, the departments, they don't know any of this because the, they the didn't show up. The, the departments know listen. all of it, trust me. Yeah, and then they're going to go to the town floor and they'll amend half and this, of it. And there's nothing we can do about that. Nope. We've done our due diligence. Mm -hmm. right. And we did our diligence. And Clarence, Clarence is meeting with the department heads who's rumored to be bringing up that discussion with him. Well, when I... Well, people will vote. Well, we had a round... If I could say a minute. We had a roundtable discussion last month. And they said that they would like to know, before the book is printed, they would like to know whether or not... Why was an advisory board alerted to that? Why wasn't there a member present that could sit there with all these people? You have your chair that attends there? every meeting. He, Why isn't he bringing this back to he, you? They, I was they, not notified of that roundtable round discussion. That roundtable meeting we were not notified about. It was at Mr. Chief, Mr. Chief, Mr. Chief, sent it out and to Mr. Chief, he sat in that chair right there while they were sitting in that yeah. chair and said the same exact thing yeah. in a board of selectmen's yeah. meeting. But they, did you they do would it? Like, Huh? Did you notify him? We haven't yes. we haven't had this discussion yet. The notification no, every, was gonna be if we didn't place it. I'm gonna be at this knew. next one. Karen, They're at everyone. Karen yeah. said, I tried I tried to be I tried to be at the department head. But Karen but sent a notice out to everybody that we were having a depart uh, it was a round table, it was an informal one. 26th or the 31st? No, it's the end of the month. It's the 31st. 31st. Oh, yes. sorry. 31st. Okay, well, that's the one I'm going to And gonna one do. of their okay. requests was before this went into print, yeah. they would like to know if their budget that they handed to you was approved of. And if, uh, if it was and not get on town floor that night and see that you hadn't approved their budget that they submitted to you. I think the only, well, for That's the most part, the most, the only thing, <coughs> one of the only things, there might have been some other minor things, but yeah. we yeah. asked that everyone submit their Ten. budget level funding yeah, um, as far as wages. Goes. We're not talking about wages. We're Wait, no, but budget. that's part. But that's part of their budget. budget. But their budget. But they're not just talking about the. That. Did you guys slash any of their budget that they yes. submitted? Yes, we did. Yeah, and they wanted to know. They want to know before this goes into print and before that they find this out on town hall. 4. Did you advise them that you slashed their budget? Some of them, yes, we did. Can yes. you advise all of them? No, I don't think so. You can't advise. Because we're not. We're not because we haven't got everything compiled yet. So. <clears throat> so what have you slashed? Oh, Off the top of your head. Any biggies? Clerks, hours. Um, well, one of the biggest changes monies. was probably the seasonal worker for highway because they established a budget by multiplying up from whatever wage rate it was. Fifteen was to twelve. Discussion between that was just one. All. That was just one thing, yeah. Um, but they're they're aware of that discussion. They know what's going on. Right. So if, so before it gets printed, I'm going to be at that round table, and if they have any questions. Yeah. And they're also welcome to come to our board yeah, so given your, time. Your budget for legal, I think we slashed. <clears throat> and you didn't advise us of that? 
That's the chair, right? Right. Well, now he's right. telling me he's got a yeah. okay, chair yeah. there, Steve. It's fired. Now, yeah. um, I, you said you slashed a lot of clerks. That's correct. Hours. Yeah. Not a, not well, a I, lot. I, from not discussion, lot. I think there was just two. Well, not even one. Oh, yeah, two did clerks. You pass, did you pass a clerk for the accountant? We uh, put it in half. I think it was half. Almost yeah. in half. Five because hours. I had just, to, one of my calls Five had hours. just, I had to go out on this call. And um, who mm -hmm. I talked to, it was the auditor. He thinks, he says in most of your communities, he said that you have, they have clerks, uh, the accountants, at least for 10 to 15 hours a week. And they help with a lot of the posting that they do. And then they said this clerk can fall in and take the accountant's place if something happens to the accountant. And, and he said you need somebody with more than five hours a week. And that's what we're discussing right now. But through your discussion, we had a CPA yeah. that's been here for over a decade. Yeah. So this conversation changes. We've right. had this. We've had this conversation yeah. getting getting an accountant, and it's not out of out of really necessity. I think it's where we want to go yeah. is is lower hours with, but they, a, with but a clerk to do some with of the, the work. clerk they said he said it's necessary and we had this discussion that they have a clerk we had this okay. discussion before that five hours. That's, that's all fine Linda. You but have five a, hours isn't going to get you any place to but the, just, thing is the, the, the position originally was based on 36 exactly, hours exactly yeah. but this is changing so, now it's so going to so be changing gonna because he, i'm going to tell you right i'm going to tell you right here right here in public the work was not getting done we were not getting figures Folks were not getting reconciled. You can say whatever you want to say about having clerks or not having clerks. The work was not getting done from that office. Okay? So if you're going to put a clerk in there, you're going to have a clerk who knows what is going on in that office, not just someone doing some small stuff. you got a good person in there now. But if you're going to start getting into what the town accountant does, that person's going to have to have some working knowledge of being a town accountant. What? You're just not going to put someone in there. What do you mean the working <clears throat> of being a town accountant? You mean the clerk? No. Well, the, the accountant, they have to have municipal experience. You just right. can't go hiring that's a regular CPA. That's the point CPA. I'm making. If that's the point, and, 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 and we there's work that. to be done, and the clerk is going to help get the work done, but we can, but I say the work was not getting done. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to talk against somebody. I'm not talking I'm against anybody. I'm talking in general. We've been well, talking about this for years. I, and this advisory board says, Dave, you got the figures? No, I couldn't get the figures. You got the figures? No, it's not done yet. And, um, and and I'm just tired of, of tired of that, and that's it. I'm just I'm right I'm up front again. How Ask well anybody in the board. How, how much less hours for? Well, the, I was just talking to the auditor. He said 20 hours. He feels is sufficient for a town this size. Yeah, that's that's for a clerk and so, so no just, for an accountant. And how just, many hours? Well, yeah, that, that, that's that's right. 10 to 15 hours. But you need. Um, no, right, but and then, you that leaves need you, then that leaves you 15 hours for a clerk. So you need you, a you clerk a working person. with you in the office. That's, that's that why he suggests. Sense. He says most of your t communities have the clerk, so they could jump right in. But if the job wasn't getting done before, supposedly. I, I'm not commenting I'm on just, anything, well, Maria. Okay, I don't think it. you so, should so, be either. So, so let's not even I go don't there. I don't think you should So let's just, let's just accept the fact that in most towns, it's between a 30 and 35 hour a week job. We previously allocated that all to the actual town accountant. Mm -hmm. And what's currently under review is to mirror similar mm -hmm. sized towns which yeah. is a 20 hour a week position for the accountant. And I take his and I take his judgment and, very and, highly. And, and, and no one's no one's disputing no one's no, no one's, one's disputing, disputing no one's disputing. I'm I, I I'm totally concurring with what you're saying and I'm just trying to kind of diffuse the whole conversation about done not getting done. It's 35, 36 hours a week of work. How we choose to split that up between an accountant and an accountant clerk. If what we're talking about is redistributing that structure, then that would put me on the other side of the fence from where I was at, because frankly, what I would have preferred to see if we were going to go even 10 hours a week on the accountant uh, clerk was to actually still pile that into municipal clerk funds. So in the instance of like we have <coughs> someone go out for you know, a surgery or th they break their leg skiing or what have you, it would have given you that flexibility as the board of selectmen to reallocate that person to another department, okay? So, but if what we're saying is that we need that specialized technical knowledge, even at a clerk level, mm -hmm. and we've already been allocating 36 <laughs> hours a week to the role, then maybe now is the time to restructure the budget 
to have the, the accountant and the clerk as two separate line items and have that overall. That was that was the argument we we're going to make before even this happened, yep. and at the same time Friday, and I'm I'm glad that uh that someone of Mr. Scanlon's yes. reputation mirrors our decision yeah. that we made Friday. So yeah. it just yeah. proves that we're working in a... Well, and the additional information that we got today yeah. from my sources. Yeah. So we're on the same page, pretty much. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, so those those numbers are going to change. The line's going to be added. So and, when, and when do I we want to meet again? I think Tuesday would be fine. If we have three weeks, I think we have more than enough time. Now we're ticking another week away. What's that? What's the Tuesday's date? What, what, what the 24th? Huh? No, Tuesday, the 24th. So how many days did that leave us to the town meeting? That's okay. Plus. That'll yes. work. That, that'll work. Over. That, that, that'll no, no, I'm not two, so certain that's going to work. Because I know what's going to happen. Something's going to be fouled up and we're going to lose another four You have two and a half weeks, Dave. We're we, we're meeting Friday. Huh? So we're meeting we Friday. Or did we say no <clears> until Monday? Are we scheduled for Friday? It was last Friday that we last decided Friday not meeting. to. Right. Last Friday we were. So we're meeting this Friday. Yeah. And then again Monday? We can pick another day of this week. Where we got? We, we were got well, Thursday. We were scheduled to, be Thursday. to meet. Thursday. We were scheduled to meet on Wednesday at seven thirty. This Wednesday? Yes. This Wednesday. All right. Not seven thirty. Seven. No, that not. was from the two Wednesdays ago. Yeah, we're not scheduled oh. for Wednesday. We're not scheduled. That was two Wednesdays ago. Right. Currently. So it would have to be Thursday. Thursday. That's from for the posting time. Yeah. What's it saying there, Bob? Did you say we're posted? Oh, I'm just saying, because I'm teaching at set until 6.30. Okay. That's why I said I could make it at 7.30. We said yes. Okay, we can do we can do Wednesday then. You can. It's yeah, not posted. It's not posted. It's not posted. It's not posted. Oh, go it's not posted. Mm -hmm. go Thursday. Oh, I thought you said it. Well, okay. So Thursday then. At 7. What time? At 7. And we'll meet as a he, joint. He won't be there till 7.30, just so you know. Yep. Right? I'm not going to be there no, teach no. 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 so so when, when, when would you like, when yeah, you yeah, like to meet? 24. I'm not going to make 24. it. And that's a Tuesday? Tuesday. That's our next, next meeting. Next Tuesday. Bob's not going to be there on Thursday. Yeah. Huh? Bob's so you're okay with that? Move along. Move along. So you can have your discussions Thursday. We can have a group discussion on Tuesday. Right. If between then, Don't now the and then, between today. now and next Tuesday, I'll go along with you come up with at least a recommended <coughs> allocation of the salaries <coughs> to the accountant and the accountant clerk, would you be kind enough to forward it to us? Definitely. I don't see that happening. No, I don't. we too don't early. see that happening. It's too early because, too we, early. because we've got to advertise the position yet. You got somebody in line? No, right, but budgeting it in the actual no, pace. No, we need somebody. What right now? What we're doing is going to try to get somebody in on an interim basis. In, right, that's what and, I'm asking. And the, you. Yeah, an interim. We somebody. We, we've got some ideas, but nothing's concrete yet. Me personally, Beth, I would use I would use that twenty hour amount. I would use the clerk amount, ten fifteen hours, and use the rate that we're paying currently. Okay. That's just my recommendation. Well, and was that was that salary previously based off of thirty six hours? I've just so that 30, I can break I've heard, out the I've account. Heard thirty five. Yeah, it was based on thirty five, I think. She said thirty six. She, she said. said I've always been on the assumption it was thirty five. Um, so thirty six. What, what, isn't the salary about forty three thousand or a little bit over? Oh no, it's more than that. It's more. Than that. Oh, no, you. Fifty thousand for the uh, town account? Yes. Yes. We just checked it tonight. Huh? Yeah. Fifty thousand. Uh, fifty thousand one fifteen. Yep. I didn't realize it was that much. Yeah. Just divide yeah. that. Divide yes. that by thirty-six, and we're good. All right. I'm going to entertain a motion to adjourn nine thirty-seven. Okay. So when do we meet? So you you want to hold us to Tuesday, huh? Tuesday night. Tuesday. Yeah. It's too late to discuss okay. that. Okay. Next Tuesday night. Yeah. Next, next Tuesday, Tuesday night. Not this. Not tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to well, confuse everybody and bring three different levels of spreadsheet with the salary. And the <coughs> can and you? Whichever you guys can just pick it out of a file. Did you email us uh, an Excel spreadsheet? To, do you have an Excel I spreadsheet? I sent it last Thursday. Do you have them on the budget? Yeah. Yeah, you have a copy in there. It's yeah, in the big, it's, it's in the big email print. Is this it? Yes, I emailed it. Okay. Plus, I made a copy. Yeah, you Plus, I hit all the tab, all the important tabs. Yeah, that's, 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 that's it. That's it right here. Yeah. Well, that's a printout. I just wanted to see it on the computer. Is it on the com It's on yeah, the computer. Yes, yeah. All right. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Sure. Yep. Do I have a second? Yes. No discussion? No. Someone want to second it?
All in favor? We, we need to go in the other room for anything? Thank you, everybody. Thanks. We all set? Okay. No. Oh, yes. You want to go in here for no. a few minutes? Okay, let's go. No, we're done. We're good. Why don't you just stay here? Okay. You want to just stay here, guys? Yeah, yeah just stay here. There will be better right here. All right, so the motion doesn't right. care. We're not, we're not adjourning. He says he okay. feels, he doesn't feel it. Uh, no, you want to yeah. stay here? You want to go in Linda. Linda. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Call me. <laughs> <laughs> I got an 015, I've already got three, uh, three, what do you call it, recalls? Four? Yeah. 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 Chevy. Okay. You know, Every time I go to the mailbox, there's another one. I've all this done. Now just pass me over that name tag. What? I'm going to just pass me over that name tag. Oh, why? why? You want to be stuck? Why? You want I'm going to conduct this. Huh? <laughs> All right, Barbara, what do you want to bring forward to the board? I want to bring forward the night we're yeah. meeting. Yeah, please. The night we're meeting. Okay, the night we're meeting with Because them. we said Thursday night. Yeah. Yes, that's okay. right. And that blocks out Bob. Who can come back like we did last week on a Friday? Can everybody come back on a Friday? I'll, I'll come in on a Friday if you all want to do it. Can I, we? I physically can come in on a Friday, yes. It's not going to be Because I would like to include... Everybody, if I oh, if, we if, can. if we're doing Friday instead of Thursday, I am down with that. Okay. Because it, it, it's easier for me for it not to be a work night, frankly. It means I can sleep in the next day. Life is good. I mean, I'd just like it to see us meet on a night, if we possibly could, that everybody could be it's there. It's not going to be a long meeting. I am working on Friday, but I make no guarantee. I'll be here, but I make no guarantees as to my condition. Fair enough. <laughs> Okay. So this Friday we're going to meet as a committee. This Friday. Marie, make sure you post that, please. At, at 7, not 7.30. 7 p.m. Friday. Well, you're mucking up my day. And the night. following, yeah. following <laughs> Tuesday is back with the selectmen. I'd just like to see everybody there. Are you going to be here? No. Oh, you said, okay. Tuesdays and Thursdays I'm in framing. All right. But I'll be a Friday for you. Okay. So <clears> we can <throat> all meet on Friday. Yes. Because I think as a board, if we can all meet, all of us meet, and then we'll get this process forward for Tuesday. So now we get the articles, which is good. Last year we didn't have the articles. Right. So now we get them, that's that's out of the way. So we just got to kind of go over the... We've only got one article to discuss. Right. We'll do that Friday. Okay. And we pretty much have got the line okay. items done. And so do you want the line <coughs> items, do you want the budget recalculated at 1%? Like you're saying, we voted. I remember the discussion, but I thought we were just. Well, they didn't need to bring that apart. up, and you know what's going to happen. I don't think we should do anything just yet. Do anything? What way? I'm going to set up the spreadsheet so I can. We want to do. We want to do it. I tell you what. Do one and two. How's, how's that sound? Okay, try that. One and two. Well, here's where Does that I'm sound parked. Good? Though. Here's where I'm parked. Okay. They, we already put an extra point four in the budget last year for the leap year. So, and this is where everyone gets confused. What we budget does not necessarily equal wage rate change. Right? I know that. Okay. The weeks. Right. So, since we'll have one less work day, we could go one six is really two. One is really 1.4. Okay. Two is really 2.4 mm -hmm. for all intents and purposes because of the fact that, or, or the funds that we're allocating could support that much raise More. depending on what mm -hmm. they and the personnel committee decide is the wage rate because at the end of the day we decide how many dollars are available right them and the personnel committee approve the individual wage rates so you know so that's why i'm asking do you want one that says a one percent change in budget is it a 0.6 percent change in budget for your one percent raise is it a 1.6 that makes it really a 2% raise? What, how do you want it That's, structured? Why can't you run two spreadsheets and just have them? Well, yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an auto-calculate it. I'm going to put formulas in and, and set up an auto-calculate. The problem is, is on some of the lines where 
like if, if we're if we're doing a substantive adjustment or a merit increase, it blows the calculations out of the water, which is what I ran into last year. Why can't I do two spreadsheets? Can I? Yes. Is it a pain to keep straight? And then you just have to make sure the right stuff winds up in the right place. <coughs> yes. Well, well, we can just we can. That's easy to do. We we'll just we can that's label the, the two spreadsheets one and two or whatever or whatever the percentage on each on 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 the top of the spreadsheet. You got nothing better to do. <laughs> so getting back you to you. <laughs> no can I have my magic box? No that's way. Magic box. So getting you back. You wouldn't to want to give it to me. Getting you back to your question. Getting back to her question now about the one percent is point oh six. Uh, oh right, six. you're right. How do you want to do that? One percent is one percent. I don't understand. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Because of the leap year. No, but that wrong. amount is already. It's, I mean, the leap. It's, it's just because of the. It works right, out right, that because way. of the. It, I'm just saying because of the budget change. Yeah. Right. Last year it looked like a 3.4, right. but it was a three. That's, so, but the the monies are still in the base. So, yeah, it's, how do we manage? It? It's crazy. That's the thing. The money is still in the base. Well, the money is still in the base budget, but that doesn't mean that they're. <coughs> rates were adjusted fully to the budget because everyone knew the extra day of pay was in there. So it's not like anyone ran off and gave somebody a 3.4% raise. No, but, but looking at last year's, what people do is they look at last year's numbers. Right. They don't, they're not even thinking about that 0.4. They're just looking at that the number numbers are in there. and then right. we're, if we're suggesting either one or two on top of that. That's all people are looking at. They're not, I think, throwing that in there as much as it is in there, it's just muddying up the waters. They're just looking at last year, this year, 1%, 2%, and that's it. Are you saying when you calculate it out, when it comes it's going to give a percentage? It's going to, it's going to give a percentage on the side that says it was a different... It's no. Good. Okay, so it's not even going to... It's not even going to show up because it's in the base pay already. I mean, the only way to recognize. So what do you, so what do we want to what do we want to vote on as as far as the, the increase in the calls? We can do two different two different we're going to do two different spreadsheets. Could have two different increases. So you want to do <coughs> one percent and two percent? What? Is that one percent and two percent? Yeah, you got that name. Yeah. Okay. We can do that. Wait, what do you have? You have a suggestion? No. Okay. It's fine. No, what you have to do though is demonstrate to the general public. Yeah, the bigger the what's so, the cost impact of one yeah. is and actually splitting out the town accountant clerk is gonna make my life easier because then I can just I can So now we're gonna put a line back in for yeah. that. Because I can use I can just use a straight calculation for municipal clerk because that was one of the few that was gonna like like make it doing it by a formula kind of screwy. Now do we want to stick to what did we say thirty four hundred off, off the top of my head is that what we allocated? For I think I, no I think I think what we it was did, half a seven. It was thousand. six thousand right. seven hundred. Right, but but here's the deal: if they're good, if they're seriously, we're actually gonna need to go up, not down, because if they're seriously gonna go to from well, thirty six hours to twenty hours on the accountant position. What they just asked was that we reformulate that budget line for the accountant to so, estimate right, so 20 hours. So we're going to have to go up to talk about it Friday. Night. Yeah, and, uh, and, they, and they were asking Friday, for what? Friday. Like they were asking for like thirteen dollars an hour on the clerk, and I think we clerk. calculate up from that at a fifteen hour, fifteen hours of clerk and twenty hours of accountant. Yeah, I think we should. It's going to come out. It's going to come out we'll less than what we currently We'll have. talk about it Friday, I think. So. Yeah, we think we have to mold that over a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because I don't know, you know, if the clerk can do the work, that's fine, but if she can't, then we'll just... But is that know, I hate to put it this way, most of what wasn't getting done is not rocket science. I don't know. Okay. I just all what wasn't getting done, work wasn't what, getting done. What wasn't getting done, yeah. it was the day-to-day, -day, transactional, punching the numbers in the right. box, what's, what's work. It's well, this, it was a lot of everything. So and nothing got reconciled either. No. That's right. yeah. Except the bottom line is the issue is now going away. So no right, we're going to move. For, we're going to move forward now. So, right. Okay. <laughs> In fact, this is very fortunate. Well, you know what? This, who knows? This, this town meeting, this lady, whoever they have a guy, this accountant, 
maybe maybe more than 20 hours. We don't know. Mm. Well, they're talking about reconstruct reconfiguring right. it so, in that <clears throat> manner. So since they seem to think that that will work, I'm going to go. I, with I, I can I can tell you I've called a couple of towns. 20 that, hours. You think that's enough? I've called Plus, a couple of towns, and for towns with this size budget, ins and outs, fairly standard is is for them to have 20 hours, and then a clerk of, for some amount of hours. Yeah, with no work maybe. being done at home. That ha it has to be all done in this town hall. I'm just saying. I know, I'm, I'm agreeing yeah. with you. That's why I said it's very yeah. fortuitous this happened. They wouldn't have to beat it down. Well, how, so many, how, much, how many, does you know how the town accountant in East Brookfield is a little smaller than us? What are they, what, what is she working down there, 20 hours? I don't know what she's working, but she gets 13,000 a year, obviously. She's getting 13,000. Oh, showing. well, not the town account, the uh, treasurer. Oh, I'm talking about the, the town account. The I don't know. I'm going to find out. I should, should be able to... We all voted to go, by, <coughs> go past nine, right? Yes. Someone second that? Whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Okay. It's a little late. No. <laughs> That's Judge Snow again. That's <laughs> always this now. Ten to ten. Can we... It's ten to ten right now. All right, so, go Friday, past nine. All right so Friday we're going to discuss that a couple of articles. Yeah. And then we'll finalize this, um, what we, the town accountant figures, whatever they, I'll talk to Steve and Linda, see what they want to put in. <clears throat> Work on the 35. Steve, oh, if you're talking to Steve and Linda, then it's a serial conversation with two, with a, with a, uh, with the preponderance of the select. All right, so I'll talk to Steve then. Thank you. Just so I get one. Yeah. I just want to get some kind of input. Just get the 35, 20 and 15. Work off that. Well, I'll ask them if that's what they're going to do. Well, well that's, that's what, what they said. That's what he said. Okay, well, they, they didn't seem like they were too sure on it. I don't know. That <clears> seemed <throat> pretty solid to me. But she just got finished saying it. Comparable she may, the, the count, town accountant may need a few more hours when she first came. Or he. Well, no, you know what? Honestly, what they really should do is fund anything that's like a book reconciliation. We should, yeah. <clears throat> and actually, that's the one thing probably missing on the <coughs> that should be there is to allow funds from that audit account to be used for for any uh, third party help that they need to balance the books. And we also going to have to have a, a town audit done now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. we're definitely on board with that. To see where we're at, and that will also help the town, the new town accountant when they see him yeah. or her when right. they come in. Well, I follow suit the recommendation we made. If anybody leaves, we do an audit, right? Yeah. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Can we go home now, please? Okay. I'll Someone make a motion. motion. I'll make a motion. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey, let's <laughs> wrap so we can <laughs> motion to adjourn. Don't hey, don't talk too much okay. in class Thursday Bob, are you, night. Bobby, you second that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Everybody in favor? Bye. Bye. Okay. It's awful when you can't talk. Oh. I got to teach on Wednesday. I know.